All right, hello everybody. Um, I have to turn this down so we don't have that. All right, hello everybody. Ah, it looks like we uh, looks like we made it. Looks like we're here. Welcome to the second ever G Schultz Nine live stream. Um, we got the whole family here. We got Mrs. G Schultz Nine. Hey everyone. And we have the girls. One of them is not in the room, but one's here. I wanted to say hi. Hi. Uh, the other one should be here momentarily. Um, so, yeah, sorry for any confusion. I had set this up on the computer, and it was, like, all set for a couple days. And, like, this is all great. And then, like, two hours ago, I was like, I better check and make sure I can get to this on the phone. And, and I couldn't. So I had to set up a whole new thing. So I'm glad it looks like we got uh, 25 people here. That's certainly a good start. Uh, I see Marilyn's here, Tracy. I know the Magnus is here. Magnus was here, like, what, about 45 minutes early, starting up the pre-party. That was great to see. Um, I'm going to give some shout outs and I do have to mention some about the Magnus, but, uh, just want to kind of get things started by saying hello and, uh, we do a few little announcements and things to mention. You want she to has something? a quick, she has a quick shout out she wants to do. Okay. And the little daughter has, uh, something she wants to say real quick. Hi, Sabrina. What? Right, Astrid. Oh, and if you're there, Astrid, hello. And <laughs> Zoe. <laughs> Those are some friends that she told about the stream. So one thing that's interesting about this is um, I, I don't know what the future is going to be as far as live streams for G Schultz 9, but um, oh. we uh, really did enjoy the last one. I, I did. And hopefully some of the viewers did, and I hope the, my family did. Did anybody enjoy that last one? Yeah. That was good. Yeah. I thought it was uh, great. I mean, my only issue was the next day. I had a little too much to drink. Oh. So We're going to talk a little bit about that. Okay, later. fine, uh, fine. Okay. But... Um, <laughs> Uh, what was I going to say? But I um, loved it. I loved connecting with the community. I thought everybody was just just super kind, and it was a lot of fun to be with the community. And Yeah, yeah I agree. And, and that was the, kind of the idea was the whole community thing. But it's sort of interesting because it's become two communities because, uh, like I'm saying, if we if I do these in the future, I may really do reviews, like uh, like my regular channel videos. But that was sort of more like just kind of everybody getting together because of all the stuff that's going on in the world. And a chance to kind of get together and talk about it and maybe have a little bit of fun, you know, a little bit of uh, a diversion from all that kind of stuff. And I kind of want, that's what I want this one to be too. But as I said, in the future, it may be more for the Ration Review community. Right now, it's for the Ration Review community plus our own personal community. And I've invited um, my friends and family or all of our friends and family, whoever, you know, can and wants to and has time to check it out to be here. So it's interesting that it's, it's, it's really kind of cool for me personally, and I'm guessing for the rest of the family, that I see so many familiar names in here, and I believe there's also going to be a number of people from my own family, or our families, mm -hmm. and uh, friends of ours that'll be checking it out. So mm -hmm. it's, it's almost a little bit more extra pressure to be doing this live, but also it's pretty cool. Uh, and actually, I should mention, I should ask... Um, hey, Fosters! Oh, hey, Brett. Um, I should also ask, yeah, I see my, one, at least one of my sisters is here, and I think there's going to be another one here. Um, my mother may be tuning in, uh, if she can get to the link, I hope she can. Uh, boy, what was I just going to say? Um, I just lost my train of thought. Sophia's coming. Um. While well, you're thinking of it, and I want to give a shout out to my nephew. He's in the country. I wish we were in the country. We could run outside. <laughs> now we have to, like, not run outside. <laughs> Actually, to, like, if you run, people, like, say, ah, don't do that. Um, anyway, so, hey, Sethy. Oh, Magnus mentioned, just asked if we have parts of the, the G-Clan in the chat. And, yes, I, I, another thing I forgot to do, uh, the last time, uh, we did the, ch uh, the, uh, the views, I didn't enable Super Chats, because I didn't realize I had to do that. And, which was fine, because I just kind of, it was, like, the first time out and everything. And, uh, so we're going to be talking about that in a minute. But the other thing, too, is I also don't have any moderators. And it's pretty much impossible, I've learned, as I'm sure everybody who goes live is already well aware, it's pretty much impossible to keep up with the chat while you're trying to actually do stuff on screen. Uh, so Mrs. G Shells 9 is kind of acting as a live moderator on the computer. And um, so at the moment, if there's any, any responses from G Shells 9, those are actually from her. Just to let everybody know. So just to, you know, that's not me. It's not me talking. So if she says something that offends you, just blame, blame her. Don't blame <laughs> oh me. Oh my gosh, <laughs> really? Yikes. Um, okay, All right. Okay. Um, huh. But yeah, that's uh, that's how that's how I'm actually responding to chats because I'm not somebody else's. It's G Shells, Mrs. G Shells Nine, and um, 
so actually, I guess this is a good time to also talk about the super chats. Uh, I believe I have enabled super chats. If they don't work, that's fine. Oh, I guess they have been enabled. Thank you, Marilyn. We have Thank the first you, super Marilyn. chat. Lena. Um, so she didn't really give me a chance to, to explain this, but what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to try to be calling out, obviously, everybody, and Mrs. G. Schultz and I will help me to see when chats are up. And so uh, Marilyn has already generously uh, sent in twenty four ninety nine. And she says, uh, I love the G family. Tracy is wonderful. Of course, Tracy is wonderful. And Marilyn is wonderful as well. Um, but what we're going to do, uh, you can kind of see, you probably see this background here. And as a way to, um, yeah, we're at it. They were here. Sorry, one second. Technical difficulties. As a way to thank everybody, uh, I'm going to attempt to do this. The girls are going to be writing people's names down as the super chats come up. So, of course, you can see them by looking up at the top or whatever, but we're going to do this sort of low-tech kind of way of, of um, just make sure you can see it on the screen. No, no. Of uh, thanking people by just putting them up on this board. So, Marilyn is the first one. And then the second thing, Marilyn actually did that without knowing where her money's going to be going to. Um, we do feel really lucky. This is such a weird time that we're all living in, everybody. Um, it's more weird for some people than others, but for everybody, it's, it's definitely a strange time. And we do feel pretty lucky at the moment. You know, we're all stuck in this small apartment together and we can kind of get on each other's nerves and everything. But at the moment, we're all safe and sound. We're all healthy, knock on wood. And we know that there's a lot of people who have it a lot worse than us. And we, um, you know, you, you always hear people thanking just mostly the medical personnel and all the emergency personnel, first responders, uh, to down to people who you normally wouldn't necessarily be thinking about, like grocery store employees, uh, all these people who have become really necessary people to us. Um, oh, we just got another super chat from Tracy. Uh, and I had a feeling you would mention Marilyn. Marilyn, you are wonderful. Great channel. And Dub C. So Tracy, $20, and Dub C, $10. So I better get this information out before <laughs> too many of these Super Chats come in. So we do feel really lucky. We feel really blessed because uh, although we're stuck at home at the moment, knock on wood again, we're, we're doing good as health-wise and financially-wise. And I really don't feel like I should be asking people for money in, you know, at a time like this. So we kind of want to do something sort of positive. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the Super Chat money from tonight and we're going to put that towards donating Girl Scout cookies to uh, medical personnel at the, uh, we, we live really close to a number of hospitals um, in the Boston area. And, um, oh, if you can get that picture ready now. Um, so we, this, this kind of hit during the Girl Scout cookie season. Sure. And um, we found ourselves with excess cookies that we now can't go out and sell because obviously the girls can't be standing out in front of stores selling cookies because they don't need to be socially social distancing. So we're going to take our remaining stock for the girls' troops and we're going to be donating them uh, to medical personnel at the, uh, at the hospitals near us. We've already done that once uh, with our own personal stock and Mrs. G. Shells 9 is trying to find the picture right now of um, one of our neighbors who is an ER doctor and we sent a, a bag in with her along with the note from the girls and uh let's see can we, yeah yeah let me see if i can get this to show up on here and this is their their response they uh appreciated it and, and cookies doesn't sound like it's not as important of a thing as you know masks or personal protection equipment but they're just under so much stress there goes some more signs going up Probably. under so much stress and pressure and you know all that kind of stuff and i think they they appreciate just getting something fun and, and nice, like some cookies. Yeah, and the girls included all sorts of jokes and mm. and really cool, um, just light things. I think right now, just anything to give a warm fuzzy is is what we're all about. So, um, yeah. So like like G. Schultz was saying <laughs> that um, yeah. So the 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 money is definitely going back to the community and that's something, you know, it's supporting Girl Scouts, which is so important. These girls cannot wait to get out hiking and going on their trips later this summer. So that's what they're raising money for. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna turn right back around and donate the cookies um, to the medical personnel. So we're psyched, we're excited. Um, 
and it was a lot of fun. So yeah, so anybody that wants to to uh, thank you, anybody that wants to help out with that, just let just to let you know, any super chats tonight, that's what that's going to be going towards, offsetting the cost of the cookies, which. Uh, you know, you don't think a Girl Scout cookies is a huge expense, but we kind of have to. The way the way it's run these days, you you have to like lay out a lot of money and buy these things before you sell them. And if all of a sudden you can't sell them for whatever reason, like a uh, international outbreak of you know a super flu or whatever, then you're kind of stuck with a whole bunch of extra cookies. And this seemed like a great way for us to do something positive with that. And so I really I do really appreciate what's already happened. And I think we have already we're already missing some. We have Mr. and Mrs. F. Who was there? I think. Okay. And I see Golden Inga, who I'll, I will mention that is my sister, and she just said she just put in twenty dollars. Oh my so gosh! We're, That's unbelievable. I, think we've, I hope we've got everything. We're already we're already losing track. So it's gonna be kind of tough to keep up with these, but we're gonna to try to keep up with them through the night. We'll probably be here for about two hours. That's the plan. Um, what are we eating today? Because I am oh, starving. Yeah. And so I put some stuff out because I knew we had to get to that, and so this stuff that actually needs to be prepared. So um, I have a lot of stuff that people probably wouldn't be too crazy about, including my family. What? We know that I think everybody who's familiar with the channel, it's pretty obvious that I am into rations. I like rations, and I actually enjoy eating rations. And the rest of my family isn't quite as crazy as me in that way. They have been... They have been great at uh, putting up with my stuff, but it's not really their thing. So I figured instead of you know standard uh, MREs, I'm going to actually offer them something somewhat palatable for for dinner. Really? Uh, yeah, we're going to do some Mountain House uh, freeze dried food oh my rather God. than Thanks MREs ready to eat food. And what I originally had was uh, chicken noodle a la king or chicken a la king with noodles. Um, and I was not going to give you a choice, but then I I just happened to find this when I was rooting through stuff today, uh, chicken teriyaki with rice, which might be more popular with you guys. And I have to say, um, Alfredo from Spain is on the chat. Hola, Alfredo. Hola, Alfredo. We miss you. Love you. So, yeah, we're doing the international thing again. So this is from Spain. I know Magnus, like I said, said he was probably the first one here. And um, I will be partaking in a beverage tonight. <laughs> we will be partaking of a liquid repast tonight. Um, this was... Uh, from the care package that Magnus had sent last on the last stream, I had mentioned the really awesome knife that he had sent me. Uh, I guess I may be able to show that again. But he also sent every time he sends me one of those care packages, it always includes a Swedish beer, which is something I would not be able to get otherwise. And I always say, oh, I'm going to save this for a special occasion, and I never get around to using them on screen because, for the most part, I'm just doing ration reviews and I kind of keep them kind of serious. So I'm not really going to open a Swedish beer while I'm doing a USMRE or or even like a, a Spanish, you know, any other country other than uh, other than Sweden. But this seemed like a special occasion. So the last one I had of these, I think I, Magnus had sent one in 2018, and I had it when I opened the box in 2019. So it was actually kind of old, and this one hasn't gotten that old. It has 11 November 19, which I'm not sure if it's a born on date or a Best Buy date, but either way, it should be fine. So I'm gonna crack that open and as a way to say, welcome to everybody. Go get a paper towel. <laughs> Live TV. Explosion. Everybody. Explosion. <laughs> That's a way to say welcome to everybody and cheers everybody. and scowl. Good. Hmm. Magnus hopes it's nice and cold. Yeah. Hi, Grammy and Grippy. It is very cold, Magnus. It's been on ice for um, about three months now. So no problem with the coldness. That's pretty good. Do you want to try this? I know you're not going to go crazy tonight, but it's something you don't get a chance to try a Swedish beer very often. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. That's good stuff. Old, oops, excuse me, flavor. sorry. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so it's, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce this, but um, Maristad's Old Ox, that's the easy part. And um, yeah, this has always been such a cool thing. Magnus sends, sends these along, and I have a little collection of empty Swedish beer cans now. Um, mm -hmm. So what do you guys vote for? Chicken teriyaki with rice or chicken a la king with noodles? Okay, first decision. Rice or noodles? Probably noodles. They're, noodles? Both, they're both chicken, which I know you're not crazy about chicken, but this is unhealthy chicken, so you should be like that. <laughs> you so we have one for noodles and one for... Rice. Well, just make them both. Let's, let's, let's do them both. Okay, so I'm going to take these and... I, actually, I can leave them here, and I'll just 
bring the thing out. One second. You, if you guys can vamp it up a little bit, maybe show your um, show your vest. And since I, I don't know if the girls want to be on camera. That's no. Nice. For sure they don't. Uh, but should I like? No, no, no. Excuse Leave that. me, Lena. I need this. But they did want to. Do you go? Do you want to walk through this? Um. Okay. So let's just. Wait. All right. I show mine. Nope. Okay. So this is mine. What is uh, it? This is a this is a Girl Scout vest. This is my troop number and oh wait uh, okay it's kind of weird okay this is my troop number, and this is some stuff and then this is my bronze award. It was a like a very big award we did, and then oh boy okay these are all of whoop, I don't know if you guys can see, but these are all of my badges that I have. Uh yeah that's it on mine. Okay, this is mine, and over here's my number. Oh wait, um, shout out to Sophia. Hi Sophia, you're the best. Mm -hmm. And these are all my badges. Yeah, it's hard to see those. Oh, no. Yeah, there's some badges. Some more badges. Uh, we can do it one. Uh, oh, yeah, I a lot of these. Uh, and and the girls have actually been. It's I've been proud of them. They've been partaking of the Pinewood Derby, which. For, you know, for generations has always been a Boy Scout thing, and they're kind of like challenging some of those ideas. And I do want to say I'm well, proud of. I'm, I do. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. uh, I do want to say I'm proud of the girls because they really have been sticking with the Girl Scouts for a number of years. I myself was in the Boy Scouts. Uh, I'm sorry, I was in the Cub Scouts, and I actually never, I never made it to Boy Scouts. I, I, I got um, moved up to Weeblos, and I was going to be sent to a different pack or different whatever. And I just was like, you know what, I'm, I'm done. And I kind of, you know, left it and never went back. And so the girls have had, uh, you know, some pretty good dedication with that. And here's, um, here's the, uh, the elders Pinewood Derby car from, was that last year? Yes. You no, can two see years. This, is the, two, yes. this is weights on it. And, uh -huh. uh, yeah, because originally it was this. Number. And then it was <laughs> underweight, so I had to add, like, a whole weight. And I, like, made, put this, like, stuff on it to make mm -hmm. it look like a pop socket kind of. So, so, as you can yeah. see, we're, we're definitely going beyond the rations in this video. So, again, <laughs> going to touch on a bunch of different things. And actually, I, 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 I was going through my stock. I, the title of this is Rotating Stock and Staying Safe and Sane. And in an attempt to stay safe and sane, I was going through the stock, trying to find stuff for the video. And I kind of pulled out, like, way too much stuff. We may have stuff for another live stream in the future. Um, but... Uh, I was going to say, uh, yeah, so we're not going to see everything, but I'm, I'm going to try and do a, ch uh, a few choice things. Uh, I have, oh boy, there's a lot of stuff that I could be doing. So let's, let's start with the chicken teriyaki. All right, so this with the Mountain House. The US? Where is this made? Yes, this is, I think, what is in Oregon? Um, yes, Oregon Freeze Dry Incorporated. So uh, easy to prepare, open package at tear notch. Remove oxygen absorber from pouch, which is something I sometimes forget. Carefully add two cups of boiling water. Stir thoroughly and close zipper. Let's stand eight to nine minutes. So that's why I do want to get to this right away so we can continue to talk while this gets itself ready. Unlike the uh, meals ready to eat, this obviously does need to be prepared. And I, wanted to, I do want to find the date on here because uh, so a lot of the stuff I'm going to be talking about is stuff that's kind of out of date, which is uh, the point of the uh, rotating your stock. But of course, this stuff is the kind of things that could be uh, saved for many, many years. This was manufactured on... Um, what the heck does that say? 1, 2, 12, 30. It's actually not really all that easy to read. I'm sorry. I'm just, I should have... Uh... All right, well, this one is best used by December 2026. And these stay good for many, many years. So that was actually probably packed quite a while ago. But this one is also, you know, these things can be good for like 25 years. So I didn't really want to put my family in danger by giving them old food. Thank you. So, yeah, I, Seriously. I figure this is more palatable. I'm sure anybody who does the uh, rations would agree that the freeze-dried food tastes a lot more like real food. And it's going to be most likely to be safer, too. So here we have the chicken teriyaki with rice. This is the review part of the stream. I will take out the do not eat <laughs> this time. And it does have a nice little gusset on the bottom so I can stand up. Oh, that's neat. <clears throat> I'm probably blocking these here. We didn't miss any live streams today. Yeah, you got your your nephew Leo, your sister. I'm uh, oh, sorry, uh, any um, uh, oh, no. super chats? No, okay. All right, so then we'll add two cups of water. That's two cups. Mm-hmm. Measured it out. Oh no. 
right here. Let's see, but I don't want to burn myself. And for safety's sake, I do have four MRE spoons, so we can each have our own. I mean, we've nice. been we've been stuck together for well over a month, so I mean, we, you know, it's not like we really need to social distance from each other, but just for the sake of safety and all that. So I'm going to stir that up. And did you girls get a look at what this looks like? I, I should have really showed you when it was dry, but uh, did you see, get a chance to see what this looks like? Yeah. With that now, can go. I just tasted the spoon and it tastes quite nice. You want to smell that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that wasn't very I, enthusiastic. I, was not, I wasn't expecting it to be like, <laughs> no. All right, and so we will zip this up. And it doesn't really say to this, but the one thing I like to do with these, I like to leave the air and, and leave it some space because then you can actually shake it. It's really hard to get the corners. And I did bring the universal freeze-dried food stirrer, but instead of using that, I'm just going to do what I like to do and squeeze the corners and just give it a good shake. And we'll give that about eight to nine minutes, it said, so I read about 7.30, that should be ready. And then I'll get a couple more cups of water. And Farmore's on. Oh, good. Can you say hi to Farmore girls? Hi, Farmore. Hi. Love you. You did hear that? Nope. Yeah, of course. Yeah, apparently it's going to get snowy, uh -huh. so. Lots of people are talking about that. It's a good that. thing we're eating a lot because, uh, you know, the snow, you're going to have to shovel tomorrow morning. Huh. Yeah. No. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> I was saying, like, what? Um, what was I just going to say, too? So which right. one's this? This is the, the chicken a la king. Mm -hmm. And we'll take a look at that. Have you had any of these before? Uh, I don't, I have not had the chicken, I think I may have had the chicken teriyaki, but if I had it was so long ago, I don't remember. Ooh, I like that smell. Oh, you know what, actually, I have had it as um, part of a uh, meal cold weather, I think, which is the same thing as Mountain House actually makes it. Because it's got these little, I don't know, this must be the chicken, I guess, but um, if you want, you know, if you're really desperate, you can also... That's you want to so try one? Cool. Actually, yeah. It's uh, try it dry. really flavorful, it's really kind of salty, but um, yeah. Thank you. Crunchy. It's basically just, <laughs> it's perfectly sane food to eat. Chewy. Actually, it's like really satisfying to chew. Old Smokey's here. Mm. Oh, Smokey's here, great. I, uh, middle man. Sticky fingers, wow, everybody's here. I wish I was coming up with a JW speaker, Travis Howard, Mark. Mark from Australia. We got Australia here in the house. Mom. So now we have Sweden, we have Spain, we have Australia. I hope everybody's everybody's doing well, and I hope people will check up and, and um, post in the uh, in the chat how everybody's doing too, because you know this is such a universal thing that everybody's going through, and some people are doing better than others. And I, like I said, we really can't complain at the moment. Um, as soon as I get this in, I'm going to want to mention something to Old Smokey about Old Smokey. Don't worry, it's good. <laughs> yeah. I really want to try it. It, it tasted good. Try it. Yeah. What did it taste like? Oh, I should let you. Like, like gurney? Or, no, it tastes like or, bread, kind of. I don't know. Like bread? Yeah, I think there was a piece of chicken in it. It almost tasted like um, dry stuffing mix. Yeah. Oh, yeah guess what I did? Aww. Or didn't do. <laughs> you lost your spoon? Classic, no? I left the, uh, the thing in. Oh, oh Does that mean we can't eat it now? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Ah. I mean. Oh. If I left it in for eight that? minutes, I might not find, but it's. Ay, ay, ay. I almost have to do that. It's like a, it's like a tradition. I want to eat it. Uh, tradition when let you're eating by yourself. Eat it. <laughs> I can't believe it. I was making such a point of like, taking the first you one out, and I just completely forgot. Pickled anyway, but no. must ours be too? All right. 
Cool. Which one, uh, prediction, which one do you think you're going to like better? This one, oh. definitely. A small little oh, really? What, the chicken ala king? Do you think you're going to like better? None. <laughs> now, when I was in the army, that was back in the days, it was, I, it's embarrassing to say this, but it was in, in the brown bag days, or MREs, and we had chicken ala king. And we didn't call it that. We called it chicken a la beep. <laughs> uh, S word. I'm gonna keep trying to keep this family friendly. Um, that it was not a great Oops. a great dish. This I'm thinking is going to be better, but in general, I mean, I like beef uh, chicken teriyaki anyway. So I think this is gonna be this is gonna be quite tasty, I believe. And I do have these uh, oatmeal's. Oh, kind of like uh, oh man. I do have these oatmeal's. Uh, maybe we. I don't know if we'll get to these or not. You know, I'm going to do one of them. I'm going to do lentils with beef for Mrs. Yes. Beef Hills 9. Oh, that sounds There's also Southwest, Southwest style chicken, which to oh, me sounds food. a lot more appetizing. But in honor of Mrs. Beef Hills 9, who's healthier, um, even though this is still obviously a, a ready-made ready -made thing. This is also not an MRE, but anybody who's seen these before, the oatmeal's, it's, uh, let's just go ahead and open it up. It's an interesting product. It was a little bit expensive when it came out. I haven't really checked lately. I don't know if they've improved it or not as far as the price point. But it, on, from the outside, it kind of looks like a small MRE. But basically, you open it up, and you have a retour pouch, which is very much like a military MRE, except that it has the gusset bottom, which is nice. And this is lentils with beef. And um, I think this is 8 ounces. Yeah, so it's the same size as a military MRE. It is ready to eat, so you could just open this up and chow down. But the bag also includes an accessory pack, which is just a spoon and a napkin. And this little package, which is the heating element. And so this is actually going to be kind of fun to do for the video. I said I was going to mention something about Smokey, and I don't know how long people are going to be able to stay around. So I did want to mention... I was watching the beginning of Old Smokey's last live stream where he had a guest star. Uh, it was actually Gusto, I believe. And uh, I felt really bad because he mentioned that when I was uh, hanging out with him in New York back in January, I'll just have to take this off for a second. He gave me this, this little thing right here, which is basically uh, a selfie stick mount that he had taken off a selfie stick, I believe. And he said he didn't need it. He had he had one, and he knew that I didn't have one because I had mentioned that uh, if I ever did do a live stream, I would probably have to do it on my camera because I didn't have a you know mount this that and the other thing. And so he gave it to me, and I really appreciated it. You know, it's not a huge thing, but it was something that was really cool and really helpful, and it was a big help in the last live stream. And then I felt really bad when he um, was trying to set up his uh, phone for the um, the visit from RC Gusto, and he mentioned that he didn't have that thing because he had given it to me. So. Thank you, Old Smokey. Uh, I'd like to say hi to everybody um, everybody out there in general, but also my family. I, I just got word that my mother is watching, so I do want to say hi, Mom. I'm really glad you were able to make it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I see uh, Smokey said no worries. Um, when do you have it? Okay, great. That's great to hear that he finally does have all those. He just has to find them. But yes, uh, I know my mom was um, not sure if she'd be able to get on here or not, and I'm, I'm really glad to hear that she is. Uh, hopefully I won't do anything too embarrassing. Uh, Crunchy Muffin 61 says, hi, Mom. <laughs> so these heating elements, basically what you do is you... It's What I do like about this is it's really self-contained. You open up the bag, take everything out, then you put your pouch back in and you put your heating element in <clears throat> and you add I believe it's, well, it's four to six ounces of water um, one of the things is it can be any liquid obviously water would be the preferable one but this also has a little gusset and I have to go get four to six ounces of water I'll be right back Can I get that? <clears throat> oh sure hot uh, no it doesn't have to be hot oh. And uh, everybody's kind of left the table, so I'll, I'll mention this, although Mr. G. Shell's will be able to hear it. Um, these, oh, I ripped off the top, which had the information on it. These have date codes on them. And this one was actually from 2016. I had gotten these when they were like pretty much brand new, and I reviewed a couple of them, and they were they're, they're really good. I mean, like I said, it's, it's tough to uh, justify the price just because all you're getting is, is a main, um, but it, it's, it certainly is lighter than an MRE. Uh, because, it's, because it's just the main. And um, 
they're actually, they have a three-year shelf life as far as recommended anyway. And like MREs, this kind of thing, and these sort of pouches should last longer. But it does say Best Buy May 4th, 2019, which is almost a year ago. <clears throat> so I'm going to try this first and, you know, everybody oh, else... you totally hooked me. You were just, you <laughs> led with lentils. <laughs> this is so wrong. You led with lentils and then like 10 minutes later... Oh, by the way. So Sorry about that, but th th this is an example of rotating stock. These really didn't need to be eaten, but it's a good idea. I, I kind of wanted to say some things. We have so many people from the community, and I know the community is really well informed and really knows a lot about all this stuff and knows what I'm going to say now anyway, but I was kind of thinking in this situation where there may be people contemplating getting MREs just to, to, su to supplement their food supply, you know, as of right now, grocery stores are still open, but you never know what could happen, how, how bad this could get. And it's not a bad idea to have stuff on hand that'll last more than a few days or even a few weeks. Uh, and when you, for that kind of stuff, you're talking about meals ready to eat, MREs, or you're talking about freeze-dried foods, um, stuff like that. And it's certainly is good to know certain things. And I think if we have time, I want to talk about a few aspects of that. Uh, but one of the most important things is if you do have MREs, um, you do want to rotate the stock. And what that means is, say I had like three or four cases before all this started and they've been sitting in my closet. Well, we, <laughs> we kind of do have that situation. Uh, do, uh, but, you, do you want me to weigh in on this subject or not? <laughs> but they're sitting in your closet or in your basement for a couple of years, two or three years, as you're waiting for an emergency and no emergencies happen. So they're just sitting there. And then something like this happens and you say, oh, I should get a couple new cases. When you get them, you should definitely make sure that the old ones are the first ones that get used. Uh, if, if you do end up needing some and at some point you do need to check and make sure that especially if they're not MRE like if there are international rations they're not really meant to last as long and they can certainly go bad a lot quicker so just a little quick advice for anybody who might be new to the idea of uh, MREs and stockpiling and having emergency supplies so we're going to add the four to six ounces of water I'm going to go a little bit less this is six and go I guess go about five or so and this is three years old, so I haven't tried one of these before that's this old. Um, but basically you want to just make sure that the water gets to the heating element, and then it's going to have a really cool reaction, which I hope does happen. The light, lighting is... Oh, I could have turned on some of the lights. Which ones? Yeah, you can turn it on. Okay. And let's see if this works. All right, you can hear it. I won't touch it. And this is live, so it's not like I'm going to edit out the 10 seconds or whatever. So unlike a Flemish ration heater and an MRE, these actually oh. activate pretty quickly. And when they do, they really activate, they really go off. So these are like those next generation kind of heaters that um, you can actually you can actually boil an egg in this. You can actually cook food with these, as opposed to a flameless ration heater from an MRE, which is not meant for that. It's only meant to be a heater, so it doesn't get up to that kind of heat. But this is going to because of the little steam in there, it's going to heat up that pouch of lentils or beef quite nicely. All right. Oh, I see we have Alex W. Uh, looks like two euros. Um, super chat. Thank you, Alex. Uh, that's fantastic. The girls have found something else to do, so we'll, we're going to have to be doing these ourselves. <laughs> They've lost interest in us. <laughs> I and I hope we haven't missed anybody. Is, is, if anybody could let me know if I have missed anyone, or if we have missed anyone, I would want to give credit to everybody uh, as it comes up and also leave it up for the, the whole video. Yeah, Alex, I don't know if you knew, but um, yeah, the, the money from this is going towards, uh, not exactly towards charity, but it's going towards um, uh, medical personnel as far as we're going to be donating Girl Scout cookies to uh, the local hospitals near us. And um, I really thank you for, for adding to that. Appreciate that. Thanks, Alex. All right. Okay, and this, actually, the chicken teriyaki should be ready. Good, because I'm hungry. Good. Uh, do you want to get... I mean, I do have to say, I had a little bit to eat before, because I was... Uh, yeah, we, yeah, I'm not too surprised, but uh, I also have something else, which I'm going to delve into, dive into. Yeah, I made the girls, I don't know if you saw that, but I made the girls eat edamame, 
I eat something. And I was eating raw cabbage. I'm not sure why, but it was just crunchy and <laughs> and not and not <laughs> and, and not, dressing and on not it. packaged, not a packaged weird. food. So here's a little something. This is uh, I don't know if this would look familiar to anybody, but this is the same exact um, pasta with spicy sausage and sauce from the UGR that we tried out in the, the last live stream, which I liked. Uh, I, I have been eating it <laughs> for a while now. I didn't want to waste it. So I actually took the leftovers, which um, let me show you. Magnus asked about kale. I'm actually out of kale. I have not been able to find it in the store recently. So Magnus, thank you for your concern over my kale. I'm on the hunt for kale. If anybody finds some in the Boston area, let me know. It's, I think you just have to hit it right in the stores. And where I've gone lately, it's, I don't know, it's just a mess. And, you know, you're in the produce aisle, and everybody's just casing each other out. And, okay, are they going to move left? Are you going to move right? And is, my mask isn't fitting right. Anyway, it's just a disaster. So I have not been able to find kale, sadly. <laughs> Well, uh, sadly for you, maybe not sadly for everyone, but that's a different story. So for anybody who wasn't here for the last live stream, as I said, we tried out this uh, pasta with spicy sausage, and it basically looks like an MRE and tastes like an MRE, but it came from a UGR, which is a unitized group ration tray, a UGR tray, and that's what this is. So we all tried some. I actually made a meal out of it. Everybody else tried it, but didn't really have too much. And I really, <clears throat> excuse me. I really didn't want to throw away the leftovers, so I put some of them in the fridge, and I put the rest in the freezer, and I've been kind of, you know, going through them ever since. And this is the last of it. Took it out of the freezer to defrost it, and I'm actually going to have a little bit of this tonight, too. So. I, I'm speechless. I just don't even know what to say. That is how about, like... How about Bon Appetit? <laughs> Isn't that always so old? But... Oh, boy. Oh, man. See, even the... <laughs> Even the oatmeal is like, don't eat me. <laughs> <laughs> don't eat that. Uh, well, I will say that some of the stuff that was refrigerated, I did end up throwing away. Because <clears throat> I do like the taste of this, but it, do it definitely has a packaged taste, uh, a prepared food kind of taste, um, processed food kind of taste. And you really, there's a limit to how much of it you can eat. Certainly in an emergency situation, it's good to have something like that on hand. But not something you want to eat on an everyday basis. And like I said, we are lucky enough that grocery stores are still open. We can still have regular food. We can actually make meals. And that's mostly what we've been doing. Marie's on. But since this was here, uh, I just wanted to break it out and have a little bit more. So for anybody who remembers this from the last one, here's some more. Who's here? Let's see, Marie's here. Jim Johnson reviews the world. I'm sure I've missed a lot. Yes, Smokey's Brett, show, yeah. Brett mentioned um, one of our uh, older videos. The problem with the UGI trays of reviewing them is it's hard for me to review one because it has between like 9 and 18 servings. And it seems like a waste for me to open that up and have a serving and then either throw it away or, or you know, do something like this. But when we went camping last year, I actually took out a tray of uh, M uh, UGR cookies and we uh, reviewed them. Well, maybe I'll put a link down below after this is uh, not live anymore. And we had everybody who went with us try them, which I didn't feel really bad about. I might have felt bad about forcing people to eat this, but the cookies are really tasty. We had some during the last live stream, and uh, actually, we just recently finished we them up. We ate every single one they're, of those they're cookies. They're all gone. I a, kept wanting to throw them out, and they just, yeah, we ate every single they're, cookie. They're all good to they eat. They were very good. The ca and, and, the, and the breakfast cake, we also had a breakfast cake, an apple spice breakfast cake, and I ate quite a bit of that. Oh, my God. Uh, it was too much for me, but... I, after trying it that night, nobody else wanted it for I, breakfast the next day. Can I confess day. something? You had some. I, I did have some that night. I threw out some of that <laughs> applesauce cake. It was just sitting on the counter for so long, and I'm like, it just has to go. And you weren't whittling it down fast enough. And <clears throat> Sorry, honey. Yeah, I was kind of wondering. I, it did seem like it disappeared. <laughs> Maybe some little so bowls sorry. or something. Yeah. Girls, you ready to eat? You forgive me, though. Uh, yes. Yeah. I have to. I mean, what a choice to have. Right. I'm going to check out the chicken teriyaki. Right. I'm just going to give it... You don't need spoons, right? Because you got spoons. got spoons here. Um, these kind of bowls? These work? 
Oh, let me sniff for this one. Oh, Sophia uh, says oh, sure. they have a lot of kale if, if you want. Oh, really? Sophia has kale? <laughs> All right, dude. Oh, we have a, it. What do we have that we can trade her? We have a line on... We have on, We have, yeah. a, we have mm, a line on it, kale. All right, hopefully this is all mixed. It looks like it's mixed up pretty good. Yeah, and there it is. And this is, I, like I can already say this is going to be you know better than, uh, oh, if you can put that in the kitchen if you want. There's a nice chunk of chicken in this one. I won't put too oh, much in because I know that people aren't necessarily going to love this. Hmm? Darker what? Oh, you're not going to try this? Alright, so this one is... Let's give a little bit of this one. Alright, so this is the... This is the chicken teriyaki with rice. Alright, so should we try it? Oh, that was going to be the beasts. because That's only... okay. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and try it. And, um, okay. oh, there, is there water chestnuts in this? There you go. Thank you. Yeah, let me clean this off and get some for myself. So the thing that's nice about this is you add two cups of water, which is obviously 16 ounces, and it makes for a lot of food. It's definitely more than really one person would need. I shouldn't go overboard because we have other stuff to eat too. So now we have a couple things here. Oh wow. Let's try this. Okay. I taste, what do I taste? Definitely soy and ginger. Mm-hmm. A lot. I definitely taste ginger. And you're done? Beast. All right. No, it sounds like that maybe one thumbs down. So what did you what did you think? Tastes like mouse. Tastes like what? A mouse? Tastes, no. like, tastes like mouse? <laughs> <laughs> it's like mice. That's weird. No, what does it taste no. like? No, it tastes like. What? Mm. I don't know. It just tastes really interesting. Okay. I, I'm I'm a little surprised. I thought you'd like it. So. Okay, and Mrs. G. Shell sign, you were saying, and then I'll. Um, you. I like it. I like it a lot. That is saying a lot. Yep. Um, the flavor is not overdone. It's not overly salty. Um, I like the soy. I like the vegetable ratio to the rice. Yeah, we got peas in here. We got yeah, they got there's peas and carrots and some, um, red pepper. Peppers. Is, what and is this? maybe some onion. Um, and little bits of chicken. I think it's. I think it's actually tasty. It's very tasty. I was hoping there would be water chestnuts, but I'm not seeing there. Hmm. Water chestnuts seem like it would be challenging to have. In would it be heavy? You well, I mean, it? everything is is um, the water's taken out of it, so it's like the chicken is really light. You know. It's oh, that's true. Because it's yeah. This has brown sugar in it. Bamboo shoots, yeah, mushrooms. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's sweet. <clears throat> yeah, that's, that makes yeah, sense. It, it kind of has a Polynesian sort of, almost like mm -hmm. a, like a, um, almost like a pineapple sort of flavor. Mm -hmm. Stop. No, we're not. Oh. All right, so uh, brown sugar, bamboo shoots, mushrooms, red peppers, green peas, da -da 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 -da, onions, green peppers, garlic powder, alcohol, ground, ground ginger, this is the ginger, salt, vinegar, lactic acid, that's for the, and then, then has the rice, it's separate stuff, but, um, cooked chicken and soy sauce was the first two ingredients. Uh, so what do you think, little one? I think the chicken's really good. Um, I like how it, like, goes with the sauce or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. It's, like, kind of flavorful, and it's, like, a perfect size of chicken. Like, it's not too big where you have to, like, like, break it. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, no, it's too small that you don't notice it. Yeah, that's true. It, it, like my first thought was there wasn't tons of chicken in there, but there is enough. It doesn't have to be huge chunks. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I I thought it was really interesting. Um, I would definitely if I was going camping and I wanted something a little fancy that wasn't, you know, your straight up, straight up, you know, bag of peanut butter or something on a hiking trip. I think I would take this with me. What do you what do you girls think? Probably it's really good, and I think it's nutritious. Well, it's not nutritious, but it's like a full meal. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it would be. It's good for you. It would be delicious. Not good for you. It's it's. I think the little one's filling. waiting for the next, the next one. The so let's try that. All right. So how are these on the salt? It's it's a good question. I actually. Uh, yeah, check the back. Can you check the back of that one? Okay. To see what the salt is. Can you see it on there? It definitely tastes salty. Um, 
You know how to read that label? Yeah. Sodium mm -hmm. is 620 oh boy. mg's. And so what percent of our daily... Yeah, does that have a percentage? 26%. 26% of your daily sodium intake for an average probably male, not female. So, yeah, it's, you know, you have to starve yourself of protein. salt for the rest of the day. But. All right, we're moving on to the chicken okay. of the king. I'm excited for that one. It's just mostly a lot better than the first one. Mm -hmm. really. Just letting everybody smell it. Well, I was, yeah, I was mostly excited about the, the chicken teriyaki, but um, and the chicken, and it was actually mixed, uh, con reconstituted very well. This one does have pasta in it, which can be a challenge. And it looked like I saw a little at the top that looked like it might be a little crunchy, but hopefully it won't be. And so let's get a little bit of this. I'll take a little bit here. Some for you. I'll just go a little bit, so you guys don't. Oh my God, to, are you gonna show this? Can certainly have more if you want, but I'll just give you a sample. Hold on, I'm having a tough time here. Oh yeah, moving to. Like the. All right. So oh, this you know is what? the next one you, coming up. Why don't you take this one because it's got some good mushroom in Look, it. You want to show the back thing too? Yeah. So here we go. We have cooked chicken, mushrooms, okay. pimentos. Green peppers, non-fat dry milk, celery, corn oil. It contains two percent less of chicken. Blah 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 blah, blah 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 blah. Yep, that was that's uh, second on the uh, on the ingredients. This one has eight hundred ninety milligrams, Whoa. or thirty-seven percent of your daily total of uh, sodium. Two hundred eighty calories. Uh, and let's see, this is about three servings per container. So, you know, multiply that or divide that as you will. Let me try that while it's warm. Mm. Let me show that. That's my favorite. Really good. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people are quiet, which is kind of a good sign. You know what? I'm surprised to see so many mushrooms in a meal like this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I as mean, like I said, it is it is the second ingredient. So like sometimes they do, you know, go go big with some of these things. That's good. I don't I don't think I'm as much of a fan of chicken ala king as I am of um, chicken tarik, so I can't really. Do them completely evenly, but um, yeah, this is really good. And both of these, I would say, are better than <clears throat> what you get in MRE uh, entree, just because the fact that it is freeze dried food, which tends to be better. It has less. It's, it's more like real food that they just took all the water out, and um, as opposed to something that has all the uh, weird little that yeah. super long list of ingredients with all the stuff that you don't even know what it is. Um, I love the little noodles too. I mean, they're like super teeny tiny. I don't know what they are. Mm -hmm. They're kind of squiggly. Yeah, but they're they're a delicate nature. Mm -hmm. These noodles. <clears throat> and so they reconstituted well. They're not soggy, but they're also not crunchy. I think they cook just right. It's pretty good. Let me see. I did like this, but if I was ranking these, this is definitely third place. Let me see. Which one did you prefer? Um, wow. Okay, they're very different. You, this this is saltier. I mean, it definitely... Tastes saltier. Yeah, yeah, it definitely does. <laughs> um, I liked it, though. I liked the... Okay, here's, here's the deal. If you were, like, an outdoors person, and you were going to... Like want to have a special meal outdoors under candlelight, flashlight. I would do the chicken ala king in a heartbeat. I think it, it like feels kind of little upgraded situation. Um, I really love this. This um, whatever this is, <clears throat> teriyaki, <throat> chicken teriyaki. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think you can go wrong with either of them, but I'm gonna agree. And it kind of surprises me. This one not surprises my third place because it's it's that uh, <clears throat> ready to eat packaged food kind of taste. These both are, they taste a lot higher quality as far as food goes. And um, like I said, I think if I was to take a dish, if I was to predict which one I like better, it would be the the, um, the beef, t the chicken teriyaki. And I'm actually surprised to say, I do think this is my favorite of the three. The, um, the a la king. The a la king is yeah, your favorite? Yeah, it's the same, same thing you're saying. It's just really nice. Hearty comfort food, mm -hmm. and I think the sweetness of this it almost kind of lends itself more to the uh, 
MRE kind of quality. And this just tastes like real food. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. It doesn't taste all that yeah. different from what you think you would um, would make if you were actually making chicken a la king. Oh, Smitty just gave some money. Thanks, Smitty. Oh. So Smitty's Thanks, on. Smitty. And Sharon's on. And Smitty was here last time, and he <clears throat> obviously remembered that I was not uh, smart enough to enable the super chat, so he said, Oh, hey, super chats are enabled. Hello. So, hello, Smitty, and thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate you being here. <clears throat> I'm sure people will be coming and going. Um, let's see, Sharon. Sharon's here. Alex. Portman777. I'm sorry, all the people I missed. I you know I missed a lot of people. <clears throat> Repeaty. Uh, it's really great. There's another one of my sisters, Linda. Hi, Lynn Lynn. Appreciate you being here. And hopefully, hopefully Martin's there, too, and, mm -hmm. and watching. Um, Billy's here. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, this is pretty Lilio. cool. And this is just the people who are chatting. I mean, it's, so what are we up to now? We're up to 54 watching 54 right now. watching. Yeah. Um, we're getting close to an hour, so. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like acting like we've done eating the, the food, but we still have one more oh, entree. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, this is the one that's over, over aged. It's, it's, uh. I don't know why I'm eating more. It's about four years old, which isn't, anyway. isn't really an issue with MREs. But this isn't an official government MRE. It is a commercial product, and it does have a Best Buy date, which is being safe, too, of um, three years. So it's almost a year past that date. But as you can see, I forget how long we had this on there, but it's, it's definitely been over 15 minutes. <clears throat> and uh, there's still steam coming out of there. And this is going to be very, very hot. I'm going to have to take some of that liquid off of there, and we'll be right back. Um... Okay, guys, honestly, in the... Oh, thanks, Sharon. Thanks so much. Um, I was going to say, please tell me in the chat, should I have this lentil thing, or am I am I in for, like, a rough night? Let me know your personal oh. opinion. <laughs> There's still time. All right. So. All right, and as I mentioned, this, unlike... Uh, well, unlike U.S. MREs, but, like, the Canadian IMPs, the... Uh, pouch does have a gusseted bottom, so <clears throat> in the field, you could just eat this right out of the pouch, which is kind of cool. <sighs> Lentils of beef, and, and this one isn't really <laughs> what I would consider one of my favorites, just going by the, the title. I'm not a big lentil fan. Uh, some other people in the household are. Correct? I love lentils, <laughs> and actually, yeah, you reminded me when I said, <laughs> when you were going out for the groceries, it was like, I wanted you to buy specific sausages to go with lentil stew mm -hmm. that I make. I remember and that. You just, yeah. You were like, how could this be? Well, well, but well, no. Well, I got sausages I thought would go good with it, but yeah. then you didn't end up making it. <laughs> I forgot. I ran out of lentils. Okay, so I have a serious problem. I'm out of lentils. I'm out of kale. That's a problem for you. But we've got... Not necessarily for me. <laughs> we've got MREs. <laughs> <laughs> kale and lentils. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at this. I'll just put some on here. Oh, I see onions in there, which is another one of the things that's not really one of my favorites. And um, is there if I just put it on your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mix it all together. So this is lentils and beef? It is. Uh, and I'll try it first, Ooh. just to make sure nothing tastes off with it. Okay, appreciate it, that. Um, that's love, right there. You know what? It's funny, the, uh, the smell is, you know, the sight, smell, and taste... And um, I think it passes the smell test, but it doesn't really smell like something I'm really all that crazy about. So <laughs> it doesn't smell off. It just doesn't smell great. <clears throat> but here is the lentils of beef. I'll try and give you a look at this. And obviously, there's lentils in there quite prominently. And there's uh, chunks of beef. That's a pretty nice sized chunk of beef. And I see carrots. It looks like onions. Um, well, try it out now read off some of the ingredients. I, I cannot get this thing to focus very well. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, Magnus but you get the idea. a very good question. Is kale to G oh what MREs are for Mrs. G? Hmm. Very good question. I just kind of eat that whole thing. I didn't, I didn't like take it slowly, but mm. um, yeah, it's fine. Um, I, I think that's a, a good, uh, a good analogy. Um, I mean, I will eat that, eat it. I mean, I know it's good. Well, except for the fact that I will eat it because I know it's good for me. Um, Mrs. G. Schlesine will eat MREs because she knows that they're here and 
and she can do she can be a part of a review and give her opinion. But I, I think I'm 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 even more tolerant. I might be more tolerant of kale than she is with MREs. Wow. Because well, partially because I know it's I know it's healthy. I mean, you don't you don't you already don't want to eat MREs, and you know it's not the healthiest thing to be eating if you're not like a soldier. And, you know, needing all these calories, all this sodium, all these carbohydrates. Um, but they have a lot of protein, too, which is a good thing. But True. Yeah, it's not, it's not really a one-to-one -one ratio, but I think that is a good analogy. Kale is, to me, what MREs are to Mrs. G. Schultz 9. Um, should I give it a go? Yeah, I think so. Uh, hold on, let me just... I mean, I was just so used to just eating this stuff. Yes, you are. I mean, it's not old enough that I would really normally be concerned, but having loved ones try it, I do want to be careful. Aww. There's nothing off. There's no um, weird taste of the beef. There's no uh, burning sensation in the mouth. No uh, no strange aftertaste, no metallic aftertaste from the retort pouch. So, yeah, oh all, I think God. all signs point to mm -hmm. edibility. All right. And I am curious to see what you think of this one. Okay, so I'm going to give it a go. <clears throat> Um, first ingredient is water. I guess I'm gonna give it a go. All right. Um, the first ingredient is water. Wow. Yeah. Waters, lentils. This is really hot. Actually, don't trust me. Ow! <laughs> you see? Oh, wow. uh, water, lentils, carrots, cooked beef. Cooked beef isn't until the fourth, uh, fourth uh, ingredient. Mm -hmm. and cooked beef includes beef and salt. Onion, celery, tomato paste, olive oil, modified cornstarch, mm. and less than 2% of burgundy wine. Ooh. Okay. Don't eat, yeah. Cabbage, beef stock, concentrate. Oh, cabbage. Um, you know how much I like cabbage? Salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and spice. I like. I always love how it just ends up, the last ingredient is just spice. Um, lentils, I'm all over that. The beef chunks? I don't know. It's so hard, right? Hmm, speaking of chunks... <laughs> <laughs> Blowing I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. Um, I think the beef is probably mm. my favorite part of it. Is it? Okay. You know, what? it's 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 not dissimilar from an MRE beef stew, except that it has yeah. the lentils, and that completely changes it. But yeah, because you except for potatoes, it's in sort of a gravy that's kind of like the um, beef stew gravy, and it does have the carrots. Uh, obviously, it has the beef. So if you had some potatoes and took away the lentils, you basically would have beef stew here. Maybe we want a couple more vegetables, but and that's pretty much what it reminds me of. It's very much an MRE kind of beef. I mean, that's do good. you think people have an interest in lentils? Like, it's just such an interesting... Like, who who is this marketed to? Hippies. Oh, fine. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have to go back and do my uh, reading because I forgot we had another entree. So one, two, still. Mm -hmm. And even though I'm not crazy about lentils, I might actually put this above this one. It could just be because I'm getting sick of this, but um, oh my God, it just has please. such a package taste to it, you know. And yes. It's a tie. One, two, tied for third. The lentils oh. are tied for third. You really weren't crazy about the beef, huh? Yeah, <clears throat> it's the only thing I, left over. <laughs> I'm assuming you don't want any more of anything. Oh my god! You know I like the lentils. I did. I'm I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be shy about maybe going back for more lentils. I just wow. Not <clears throat> super crazy about. I I think it's mostly the texture of the beef, which I think is just really challenging for hmm. me personally. Um, it's a texture thing. <laughs> but. But yeah, um, I like the lentils. All right, so that was kind of that was kind of dinner. I um, the girls probably haven't had enough to eat, huh? <clears throat> but you, I think you gave them something before. What else you got? <sighs> well, I guess I'll take this off of here. Unless I just throw this whole food. Yeah, that's funny. Jim Johnston was saying that everybody bought up the lentils and the black beans. Totally agree. One of the easiest things to make, and people are just probably like using them as, I don't know. All right, do you want to take a little? Or something out. 
idea what they're doing with them, but shoot. I'm gonna take a little break from the reviewing. Okay. If I can find We're gonna take a break from the reviewing. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a little quick thing. We talked about rotating the stock. I hope everybody can hear me. They had something too. What's that? The Grammy. Oh yeah, that's right. We have an unboxing coming up too. Oh yeah, we got yeah, some good. Got we got good stuff okay. coming up. We get okay. too much good stuff. Um, too but much. I wanted to do a quick thing. As I had mentioned, um, we talking about rotating stock. This is some of that basic kind of stuff. And I've done a video in my MRE Basics series about um, the date codes on MREs, and I think I covered this in that too. But this is kind of like for people. Have a group toast. Wash things down. Uh, well, the girls, you know. Girls actually haven't had anything to drink, mm -hmm. liquid wise. That's right. But uh, yeah, if we can. There's a toast. Cheers. This is a usual sign to me, anyway. The girls are busy watching TV. Shout out to the Fosters over there. Pizza night. Hope you guys are, are uh, cheersing too, having a toast too. Um, so I, uh, yeah, I was thinking this is just, just a quick basic thing. We talked about rotating stock and how if you are getting into MREs, one thing to keep in mind is using up your older stuff as you get newer stuff to replace it. Another thing for somebody who may be new to MREs is uh, how do you date them? How do you know how new or old they are? And, uh, and that can be a problem. The main thing to know is the date codes, and this actually doesn't have one on it, which is kind of a good thing because it's a good, a good example. The date code is this four-digit code down here. I'm not going to get really into it because it's going to get kind of boring, and you can watch my video on it. But if you see this and it says 8345, you may say, what the heck does that mean? And um, if you... Actually, this can be... Actually, this is a great... That's a great date code for this because basically what that means is the, the first number is the last number of the year that it was produced, and the last three numbers are the uh, number of the day. So this was produced on the 345th day of, and this is where it becomes a question, either 2018 or 2008. And um, I'm not actually sure which one it is, but if you go on eBay and you're looking to buy MREs, like you're seriously interested in MREs to to stock up on for your family, for, for safety or whatever, you, you, you want the newest ones possible. And one of the problems is on eBay and probably like on uh, Amazon, stuff like that too, when people are selling these, which they're not supposed to be sold, but we all know that they do get sold and it's not really that big of a deal. But um, <clears throat> if you go on eBay and you don't know a lot about MREs, you're going to see listings and they're going to say brand new. That's the first thing they're going to say. And they say that because they're not opened. So they're, they're still sealed, which means they're brand new. Of course, we're talking about food, though, and food doesn't stay brand new forever, even MREs. Um, so you're gonna, you have to be careful about that in the listings when it says brand new and it's going to say fresh. And they may even give you dates, like this is from 2020 or this is 2019 or whatever. Uh, giveaways that you're going to have is if this comes in a brown bag like this, most people who do have these are selling them as, um, uh, I don't know, as, as collector, collector's items or almost like antiques at this point. But some people may be selling these, and they may not know themselves. It may not be that they're being jerks or anything. They may not know themselves. But these were produced from 1981 until 1995. So if you are bidding on these, you're getting something that's no newer than 1995. Which, what is that, 25 years? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, 25 years. I'm <laughs> having a hard time adding but so you don't want these this is not something you want for your stockpile for your emergency supplies if you see them in this kind of bag this is newer these bags were introduced in 1996 so the problem with these if you don't know the date code if they don't tell you the date code or if in, in this case it doesn't have a date code on it at least you know this could be from 1996 or newer so these are going to be old too this design was replaced in 2008 with the latest designs, and there's actually three of them. I should have all three out here, but unfortunately, uh, I didn't really totally prepare for this. But there are three, and if you see a genuine MRE that doesn't look like this, but it is in the tan packaging, it's the newer ones. And when I first started doing reviews, if you got one of these, you knew you had something new because these were introduced in 2008. So when I started doing reviews in 2011, they couldn't be any older than three years old. At this point, you do have to be careful because it could be from 2008. As I mentioned, the date code on this indicates that it has a, a number eight for the year, which because this, this new design isn't that new anymore, it's now 12 years old. So we have this thing that I like to refer to as the decade dilemma. And a lot of people have asked me this on the channel. How do you know that an MRE with an eight 
at the beginning is from 2018 and not 2008 or 1998 or 1988, you know, something like that. We've already discussed that these designs are from up until uh, 2007. So anything with these, you know that they're that old. With this one, I'd actually have to look this up myself, but this could be from 2008 or 2018. Um, and what you can do is you can go to mreinfo.com, which I would recommend for doing anything for finding out about MREs or for going onto the forums and chatting with people about uh, MREs and anything ration related. But you can go in and you can check the menus because the menus will change year to year. And sometimes a menu, uh, an entree will still be in it, but it'll change menu number. So you can find out there's a lot of different clues that you can help um, date these things if you're, if you're buying them, like, say, on eBay or whatever. And you can refute the fact that somebody's saying, oh, this is brand new. It's fresh. I just got it. You know, it's, it's, it was made within the last year. And you can say, no, it was made 20 years ago. So, all right. That was a little, a little kind of rushed through, but I knew it could be kind of boring. But mm -hmm. basic information for everybody who's, um, you know, veterans of the community. But anybody who's new, I did kind of want to give out some of that information to kind of help people make sure that you're not getting something that's uh, automatically going to be too old to eat. I guess that's it for that. Okay. So what's next? Um, next, I think we'll have the girls come back and we'll engage them for a bit, <laughs> which they look thrilled about because oh, they're, they're in the middle of their wow. Disney movie. Wow. Okay. You, should have, you should have seen that. Yeah. You should have seen that teen eye roll. Yeah. That's a, they have perfected that, I would say. But I don't think you're going to be too disappointed about this one, little ones. Yeah. I'm going to make a little room for you. Oh, I think I know what it is. You, you know what it is? So the girl's grandparents, especially the grandmother, has sent them a couple of care packages since we've been all stuck at home, which has been really appreciated. And she recently sent a package, which the girls haven't yet had a chance to see. And I believe it's, uh, it's math workbooks, right? It's math <clears throat> yep. workbooks. Yeah, so they can, they can yep. work on some of their math skills because while well, they're out of school and everything. And um, we thought we'd have them open the box for you here so we can have okay. we've done some reviews and now we're going to have a little unboxing yeah okay um, yeah yeah okay let me just uh, sure whatever 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 uh i just have to cross something out here what does it say <laughs> that you little <laughs> what's it say all right oh, okay. Super okay. and they may not fall for what i just said but uh this box here came for them a while back, and I thought, I'm going to save this for a live stream. It's not, it's not ration related, but in a way, it's kind of, kind of sort of similar in a kid's, in a kid's kind of way. Ooh, we have, a, we have a super chat. Linda Walsh, Thanks. $25. Thank you very much, Lynn Lynn. That's, that's uh, one of my sisters. Thank I, you, Auntie. I think it's okay to mention that. Um, thank you very much, Linda. I really appreciate that. And uh, the medical staff people are going to appreciate it, too. Staff people. That's awesome. Uh, you want me to get this started, girls? I don't, I don't want to like have you <gasps> cut yourself on live live video. Yeah, but, go um, ahead. All right. <clears throat> I'll, yeah, I'll just. Oh God, yes, please. I'll just do this. Part Are you kidding here. me? Not that I don't trust you. Hmm. Sharp knives. And... Okay, it's not quite completely cut, so you can rip the rest of it. All right, you want to get in a little one? Oh boy! <laughs> that's not oh my gosh! That was a Whoa. surprise. Whoa. Oh wow! That's so cool. Master Chef Junior. <laughs> this is this is oh my gosh! This looks so good. Can I, can I like eat it all like right Look now? You, what uh, kind of candy are we talking about? Do you girls want to say anything Everything. to somebody? Everything over one hundred. Thank you, Grammy. Thank you Grampy. so much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and they're watching, right? Yeah, they're cool. watching. Oh my all right, God. so that was a surprise because the last one they sent, um, it was actually a crave box, which I thought would be kind of cool to sort of semi show and review. Oh and my it was gosh. A, a box that was. Um, I think you can get them like monthly subscription and get them just one off. And it had just all kinds of snacks in it. It had like uh, little little bags of chips and had candy and all kinds of fun fruit snacks and everything. And I actually thought that was what this was going to be, but we're surprised. And instead, it's Master Chef Junior Cookbook. Oh my wow. god, that is great. Oh, this is perfect because you girls are aren't you cooking dinner for us tomorrow night? That's <laughs> yep. we have date night, and you guys are making something and, phenomenal. And if that weren't enough, all right. 
If that weren't enough, candy. Box kitty mix, over 145 pieces. Mm. Wowza. Wow. That uh -oh. is amazing. Lemon heads. And lemon heads. And, and it is something that's kind of controversial in the community. It's something called Smarties, which people who aren't from the U.S. are going to say, those aren't Smarties. Smarties are chocolate, but uh, those are the U.S. Smarties. Mm -hmm. Now and later, Cho Chewy Lemon Heads, too. Cho Chew. Cho Chew Chai. Ooh, sour. Oh, my gosh, I love sour Sour bright eggs. Mm. That I've never amazing. tried. Cool. Oh, that's little... What's a now and later? Will that happen if you don't cook right? Oh, they're these No, things. it's just a fun thing. See, look, they do this to the that's judges. That's what happens. And super bubble. They do this to mm -hmm. the judges. That's awesome. Cool. Well, that was fun. That was a surprise for everybody. Yay! <laughs> I didn't expect that. I, wanna, I didn't think they would fall for the fact that we said that they were math workbooks. But, it, it uh, actually worked for like a week and a half. They were like, oh, there's a package. What is it? I math hated that. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. All right. Thank you, Granny Nappy. Thank you so much. Yeah. You, we cannot explain how grateful we are. That's quite Candy. cool. That's awesome. That was really generous. And Super cool. Nice. All right, well, thank you, Marilyn. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Dub C. Yeah, thank you, Mr. and Mrs. F. Golden Inga. And to W, Smitty, Sharon, and Alex W. for all your super chats. It's greatly appreciated. Mm -hmm. I, um, I I do wish I could... I wish there's some way to, for me to be able to keep track of the chat better, but I think uh, I think everybody understands we're doing this we're doing this live, and it's happening. So. Old Smokey gave you some tips on how to look at that. I'm sure he did, yeah. He's the... Is the uh, the authority on these things? Oh, Smokey shows tomorrow, right? Oh, is it tomorrow? Yeah. Is it? I, what day is it? Is, is, has anybody else been like losing track of the days? It's like it's a day. Days, it's, weeks, today months. Is, today just is another, another day. day. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Old Smokey, as uh, I think everybody around here knows, but in case you don't, Old Smokey has uh, gone on to the big time, and he still has his channel. He's still doing his videos, but he's also he also has a show on what used to be called the History Channel, and now it's just History. I can't really get used to that. <laughs> called uh, Eating History where he and his, uh, his partner go out and um, they find this really, really old food and they eat it. And <laughs> really interesting. I mean, I, I, I need to get... Oh, you, yeah, the girls have seen some of that. And I need to check out some more of them. But, um, yeah, great show. And you need to, go, you need to make sure you check that out. Um, I've had a hard time streaming it, but mm -hmm. we'll figure out some way. Um, are we going to eat the, my... My oh yeah, bring out your. Uh, we have another, oh, we have another little surprise. Gosh, so, like so we have things. to. We're all stuck in here and we're doing things. And I mentioned the girls. We mentioned that the girls are in uh, in Girl Scouts, and um, the older girl had uh, a Girl Scout meeting tonight, which of course was a, a Zoom meeting. Is everything Zoom, or Google Hangouts or whatever? And one of the things they did was they made. Oh. Well, what was it? What was the Okay, so we had um, 45 minutes to make something with Rice Krispie treats and marshmallows, or Rice Krispies and marshmallows. And so I had this idea to make fruit, or, well, it was originally watermelon. So I made this giant watermelon. Oh, it's heavy. Okay. This giant watermelon. Oh, watermelon. Sure the seeds. Sorry about the seeds. Um, they're kind of, they were melting, so... Um, they don't look like seeds as much, but... And then these are strawberries, 3D strawberries. Yeah. Nice. So, yes. So, we had, Mom she made had to show one. that, too. As, as a matter of fact, I didn't let her... She had one of the strawberries uh, while they were doing the Zoom meeting. They were so good. <laughs> no, I didn't let anybody have any other so we could show it during the live stream, and now it's I been shown. So, if, if anybody wants to try some, they can. It's really easy. I, I, I recommend it for, like, parties and stuff because it's really easy. It literally took, like, less than 45 minutes. Well, Linda says they, they enjoy doesn't have a fire going in the fireplace. That sounds really, waiting for the snows to start. That sounds really cool. Oh, I uh, it was, It's nice. You can you can kind of you know we're all stuck at home. You know, other than the people who are out who have to be out working and stuff. It's yeah. it's nice when you can have yeah, something that you can look forward to or something yeah. that you can do to enjoy she things. And um, that's, just... that's 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 really cool. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. There's obviously a lot of other things you could be watching. There's so much stuff that's streaming and whatever. And I'm glad to be uh, here and. Have all these people here? What do we, we got now? We have Fifty-two people. Felix, not I mean, that big of a deal. There's over fifty people here mm -hmm. with us. You know, and who has where the four of us are sitting here by ourselves. It's, we um, are it's not really cool. alone. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh dear Lord! Marilyn has already done a super chat. Marilyn, mm -hmm. you are amazing. And she just came back with a second are super you chat. Me? Oh this my gosh. For Oh a lot of money. Oh, God. Uh, Marilyn. Okay. I was going to say, just to make another, another time for that one. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's 
มันคือสามหน้าเป็นเฮ้ยใหญ่ Can we like cut this? I really want to eat it. Eat your watermelon. Thank you, Marilyn. Cheers. Uh, I don't know how to. Um, I, I got to figure out where the uh, website is, but uh, Marilyn mm. is the one who makes the ooey gooey butter cakes. Oh my oh. gosh. Oh, and, uh, Marilyn. I would definitely oh recommend gosh. that. And I, um, yeah, Marilyn, actually, could you, so if you don't mind, I, if you don't mind tooting your own horn, uh, putting your um, the website down, uh, because I would definitely recommend people checking those out. I have a review of those. It was one of my most recent reviews. Uh oh, superstar. Marilyn is awesome. Marilyn, you Amazing. are the best. Um, but yeah, the ooey gooey butter cakes are delicious. We've had a few. Yeah, we really enjoyed them. I, I do want to try some other ones because they have what seventy four. So there's like more than seventy varieties. Uh, it's just uh, it's really? very sweet. I mean, obviously, some people aren't going to be able to eat them. Some people with uh, diabetes might want to steer clear of them, and people who aren't crazy about sweets. But I do like sweets, and uh, <laughs> we're getting a lot of stuff here. Holy from the magnets. If I, okay, so here's my thing. Like, you get a lot of weird stuff in the mail. Let's just say this. I mean. Magnus's stuff aside, because I love like Magnus's festive Swedish, Swedish stuff, and mm -hmm. I love all that. When Marilyn's ooey gooey butter cake, is that what it's called? Yep. I mean, first of all, I pay attention to very little that happens with G. Schultz 9. Well, I shouldn't say that. With his, with his MRE stuff. But when the cakes come from Marilyn, I just go bonkers. They are I mean, so yummy, right? I cannot. Oh my god, they're so good. And I was like, "What is it about this cake?" And then we opened it up, and I'm like, "Well." Oh, another super chat, from Adam Broomfield. It it looks, you know, it, this helps. It, looks, it definitely helps. Thank you very much. Looks, uh, you know, it it's it's not like a thick cake or anything. It's not. It's very understated in the way it looks, and then you taste it. It is out of control. I don't know how she does it. Tastes it tastes like heaven. It's it tastes like heaven, yes. It's <laughs> unbelievable. You don't think of butter when you think of cake. I mean, it's obviously butter in cakes, but you don't think of butter is when you think of cakes. But that, in this case, it's... Um, oh, it's so good. Somehow, I don't know. I don't know how it works, but... Uh, let's see. I was about to get another video because I forgot to buy it last time. <clears throat> so good. All right, so what are, we, what are we doing next? We did the... We did the Thank you, Adam. Chicken a la king. We did the teriyaki. We did the the unboxing. We did the rice krispies. Uh, yeah, things are actually moving along pretty good. Um, mm -hmm. I suppose I should check, take a look at my notes and see mm -hmm. what. Uh, I mean, I'm supposed to be like kind of controlling this thing. Mm -hmm. I had some ideas. <laughs> In theory. <laughs> one idea you may not like this one, but one idea was to um, have you try out various MRE and ration coffees. <laughs> she wasn't listening. <laughs> you oh, want me to try? You, thank you, Shelly. <laughs> oh my Another gosh, super chat. so sweet. Uh, I was saying that one of my ideas for an idea, because of the fact that I don't drink coffee, and I always feel bad when I do a review and I taste the coffee, and I say, yeah, it tastes like coffee. You know, there's not much I can say about it because I'm not really a connoisseur. And Mrs. G is a, um, a coffee drinker. So one of my ideas was to bring out a bunch of different MRE coffees and have you try them. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, you're for that? Yeah. I mean, um, okay, the, the downside is that I'll... <laughs> thank you, Shelly. I'll be up until 4 o'clock in the morning, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, you just have to give them a taste. Oh, uh, but I don't know if... Um, why don't you vamp for a bit while I find some of these? Because uh, I get stuff all over the place. Um, yeah, I mean, it's funny. I'm not... I don't want to say, like, I'm this big coffee connoisseur. Okay, so my biggest thing is that I had my gallbladder out a number of years ago a horrific incident and that's why I tried to stay eat a, eating a little bit healthy just because it feels better in my tummy when I'm not having a lot of high fat and stuff so um you know just limiting creams and whatever this is TMI but point being all comes back to the coffee a number of years ago I stopped putting cream milk what have you, half and half, any sort of dairy in my coffee just because it was helping with my digestive system. And um, so now, now G. Schultz 9 thinks I am like this big coffee connoisseur. And I have to say, like, I think you're building me up a little bit. 
I enjoy coffee very much. I do, and I think I need it very much to live. Um, but I think I just like a rich, dark roast, and I don't put anything in it. So I don't know. Do you think I'm some crazy purist or something? Like, what are you, what's, what's your thoughts? I don't know. You, well, I don't know. You've always kind of been more of a healthy eater than me. Uh, I, I guess it is true. It has kind of changed since the, uh, we used to have, we used to, we used to eat some stuff like those, uh, remember those box meals we used to get? That was kind of rational. Like, it was a, a box that had a can in it and a bag with, like, powder, and it would make, it would make, like, a, <laughs> like, chicken and dumplings yes. or pizza. I remember kind of thing. that. Like, I remember that, They were all that, different, yeah. and they were, it was like, I, I love that stuff. I don't want to say it was, like, a Campbell's thing, but it was, like, a, you know, it was a major brand, Something like, like Heinz yeah. or Campbell's or, yeah, Betty Crock or something like that, yeah. Yeah. So... Uh, I think we may have to we may have to delay the real coffee testing for another time. But you can try a couple anyway. Okay. Um, I can't really find. I really had a hard time finding stuff today. And um, oh, here we go. Let's try. We'll Wait, make like. You want some water? We'll make like yeah, please. Okay. We'll make like three. This is a classic. Here we have coffee instant type three. I thought it was type two, but it's uh, type three. I can get that to uh, focus a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we have that, and we have a Taster's Choice House Blend. Um, I actually have a Taster's Choice down here, but this I know is an older one. We'll take a look at it, but uh, Taster's Choice has not had a good record with MREs. They, um, it probably seemed like a great idea, because they used to always have these military packaging, and they're probably like, oh, this is great. We'll have a commercial one. People will recognize the name. It'll be fun. And they, they just don't tend to last. Um, they get uh, dry mold, or something that looks like that. It's this white mold looking thing on them that is very disappointing to find. Uh, it makes me glad I'm not a coffee drinker because I would hate to get that. But then some of the uh, um, commercial companies have this deep rich coffee. You've tried that before. And there's also this Diario, and unfortunately this one is is completely solid. I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna subject not subject Mrs. G to this, but we'll we'll take a look at it. But um, I wish they had that because we have three here. Actually, we'll use this newer one for the Taster's Choice, and this would have made four, and that would be kind of a good... Um, oh, shoot, I should have done this on the uh, translator, but uh, we do have one more. We have this one right here. We have a Russian one, Russian coffee, which I didn't uh, translate to see like what it says about it. Uh, but that one came from... One second, please. That one came from MRE Nation, so we'll use the MRE Nation coffee cup nice. to try that one out in. Ooh. And I have my Desert Storm Saddam cup, which we'll we'll try that one too. Desert well, this is really cool because it's actually Desert Shield and Desert Storm. What's the story with that mug? Uh, I got it on eBay, <laughs> but <laughs> I got it with the idea of using uh, when I was doing Desert Storm era MREs, like the the brown bag one I showed earlier. Um, Magnus. What's that? Magnus just made it. I'm on the wrong side. Great donation. Thank you, Magnus. Oh, Magnus. Whoa. From one old scout to two younger ones. Aw. Get them get cookies, cookies out. out. That's awesome. Thank That's you, Magnus. Awesome. Appreciate that. That is so cool. And and you know what? Since that happened, I'm gonna. <clears throat> I had to bring this out again because okay. I'm really pretty psyched about this, and uh, I'm not like trying to show off or anything. But this is the, in addition to a bunch of Christmas type snacks, and this beer, uh, back in December, Magnus also sent this wonderful leather case, which has inside of it this wonderful Swedish uh, pilot survival knife. And I'm probably not gonna be able to get that to focus on this thing, but anyway, it's F. It says F1. Falkniven, Falkniven. Um, oh, there you go. You can see it there. So, thank you, Magnus. Again, amazing. It's always, always thank amazing, you, Magnus. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Put, I'm gonna put the Swedes all in this area. I'm gonna leave this here. <laughs> <laughs> Linda, I would move you, but anyway. <laughs> cool. Yeah, we, yeah, this is great. People all over the world. I mean, I mean uh, Old Smokey does these all the time, and oh, what do you say here? You can Google the search. 
Ian and Allen. Yeah, okay, Ian and Allen. That's the that's that's the straw. I did have a hard time on finding out one of their sites. It didn't seem to be up at the time. This is back it was a month or two ago. But the other one, the coffee one, the um, Park Avenue Coffee, I think it was. I think that one was still active. But um, yeah, I, I would Google um, Ann and Allen and also uh, Gooey Gooey Butter Cakes. Unless anybody else has put up. But thank you, thank you, Smokey, for saying that because I, um, I know I have their uh, brochures around and I could just show that on screen, but I don't know where they are. So, okay, well, let's get to some coffee so we can keep uh, Mrs. G. Schultz and I up all night long. And we may need more cups, too. I, uh, we'll definitely do at least three. We'll do this Russian one. We'll do a Type 3. We'll put that in the in the Saddam one. That's a good idea. And we'll do one of these newer Taster Choice. Taster Choice. No, you know what? Actually, maybe we'll do four. Which, actually, that'll be a pretty good, a pretty good amount. And this one right here, I'm not sure. Is this a coffee? Does anybody know what this is? I, I can't use my Google Translate because I'm using the phone for the... Um, for this uh, live stream, but I'm not actually sure what this is. If this is a creamer, or if it's coffee. Uh, this one I'm quite sure is coffee because it shows coffee beans, and it feels like it feels like free dried coffee in there. I don't know if anybody knows what that is. You can let me know. Alisa or... also just made a oh, no super chat. Alisa, thank, Alisa you. thank you, thank you very much. Kendall's going to the cause. That's great. Appreciate that. Oh, sugar. Thank you. Thank you, Smokey. Yeah, that makes sense. It, it's just so big that I, which is what she said. Um, oh, it's, <laughs> I wasn't, uh, I don't know why I was thinking coffee, but that's, okay, sugar. And Mrs. G generally takes her coffee black, so she probably won't need that. I mean, I'm but, not um, opposed to sugar. Let's just say that. I mean, I, I do enjoy sugar very much, but. All right. All right, let me get another cup or two. Uh -huh. uh, can you get two? two cups? Why don't you get your, um, your, uh, uh, Gilmore Girls one. Oh, okay. And, and there's like a white one. Two mugs, and you've already got another one there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I got two. All right. Let's see if we can get these all on screen, and we will start this coffee review, which is something you don't usually see on G Shells Nine. Uh, for anybody who's a fan of the Gilmore Girls, that's Mrs. G Shells Nine's mug, and that one will have the Taster's Choice. I don't know exactly why, but that's where that's going to go. It smells like coffee. That's a good sign. It sounds weird to say, but um, <laughs> sometimes these things can be a little iffy. That looks perfect. And this is definitely a newer one. And then the deep rich. Actually, I should do this as a blind taste test. That's, okay, a, that's, that's not I'll a bad idea. Okay. Um, I mean, I, was gonna, I can still say what they are. It's not like that's going to matter. Gonna say, I have plenty of masks hanging around, but no, I don't have those <laughs> kind of masks hanging around. <laughs> Oh right. my goodness. This is the deeper and I almost wanted to save this one for something, but I mean, I don't drink coffee anyway. So here's some coffee instant type 3 freeze dried. What's everybody's favorite? Is it type 2? I'm not really sure because I, since I don't really follow the coffee stuff, um, it seems like type 2 is the, uh, I don't know if that's a spray dried, are you, are you... but somebody I'm sure will chime in. Okay. Somebody who knows more, than, more about coffee than I do, but I don't, mm, actually, it smells pretty good. I don't think there's really any. Complaints about type three. Aletha's gonna be right back. And then the Russian coffee. Mm -hmm. Bring it. Bring it. Wow. Well, I'm excited about coffee. All right. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna put tons in these because. Uh, Oh, uh, we probably should have a... Oh, we have a clean spoon right here. Perfect. Nice. Not to uh, use somebody else's catchphrase, but... Let's keep it on the strong side. Yeah, it's maybe a little bit more than I need to. Mm. I, have to admit, it's, I, I like the smell of coffee. You do? Like, uh, like going into Dunkin' Donuts. You know that Dunkin' Donuts coffee? Mm -hmm. I love that smell. I just don't like the taste of it. <laughs> I never have. I just have never gotten into coffee. It was something, uh, as a kid, I just never liked. I mean, most kids, I don't think, like it anyway. And I um, I never grew to like it as an adult. Do you, I was just going to say, do you have anything sweet for me to have this coffee with? But 
I, do, I cannot eat more Rice Krispie <laughs> treats. Uh, you have any? Oh, uh, I guess something sweet. Oh boy, is it? You know what? Wheat butter cake. I could I could so easily get you with this, but mm -hmm. I'm I'm too ni no I'm too nice. Thank you. I have a Tootsie Roll. Oh my gosh! It's almost like that was planned that you asked for that for something sweet. Uh, so the the thing about this Tootsie Roll. You normally wouldn't get so excited as you just did about a Tootsie Roll, but this one is about 20 years old. I did a review, I think it was a hand slice of RE from like, I think it was 2000, which would make it exactly 20 years old. And it was, I'm going to, uh, I was going to contaminate them, but I have napkins here. Um, <clears throat> it must have been stored really well, and the Tootsie Roll which there was two of these and they, they did come in a retort pouch, which kind of explains what, you know, why it was better. It was like perfectly preserved. It was so, it was still soft. It was, you know, malleable. Um, and it tasted great. It wasn't a toothbreaker. It was really good. And now that, that was probably a year ago. I did that review and I still had this one sitting around, which I found when I was looking through stuff. So now I want to see how this has been holding up after a year of not being in the retort pouch. I'm not yeah, that. you don't have, but it's it's. I mean, it's sugar. It's it's probably gonna be fine. Ah, oh, this is kind of cool. This is uh, something different. I don't know how many people. Have done. I know there's some people who are. I know uh, Animal Free MRE is a a big collector of the uh, military coffees and a big connoisseur of them. So we have four coffees here. Uh, we did this. There it goes. This is not the package I was in, but. I should keep these right, straight. So you're gonna, I mean, I don't know what I'm drinking anyway. You're just gonna. Yeah, I, I mean, we'll keep track, but uh, okay. you don't have to. And and then I will tell you after you try them and give your opinion on them. I'm missing one package for some reason. Where did that go? Uh, oh, here it is. How did it go over here? All right, and actually, nobody can see that because of the way I position things. So let's put this up here. And we have this ongoing joke about the, uh, it's kind of like passe now, about the uh, toilet paper. But it is true that um, MRE accessory packs are really uh, a rich little survival pack. Oh, we have another uh, super chat. Mm. Rod Crawlman, 199. Thanks, my mom Rod. Shot, I jumped in. Hey, G fan. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rod. Appreciate it. But um, yeah, the accessory packs, accessory packs are kind of like an afterthought, but uh, they're a nice little survival pack because most of them still have matches in genuine US MREs. They do have the toilet paper, which is, it's, it's weird to be talking about it, but it's a very versatile thing because you can use it as toilet paper because that's what it is. You can also use it as a napkin. You can use it to clean up. You can use it as a fire starter. It, you can use it for whatever you need it for. It's, just, it's a very versatile little thing. And while that gets most of the attention lately because of all the stuff we went through with the current situation with toilet paper, and there's the Rod K, thank you very much. Um, there's also uh, wet naps or moist towelettes in the MRE accessory packs, which is come, something that can come in very handy these days if, when you're uh, trying to keep yourself safe and clean. Clean and safe, I should say. All right, you want to try these? We'll just go one down, okay. go down one at a time. Here is number one, which All right. so. don't tell her, but this is... The secret okay, word already, is... I, I mean, I have to say just the smell of it. There's something wrong here. Oh, really? Yeah. Overly bitter or overly... It's not rotten though, right? Uh, well, uh, could, I don't know. I didn't see any white. How, how would I know if it was rotten? Well, let's find out. Because <laughs> I have, I have a couple of these that I rejected. This is a oh deep, this is another deep and rich. While you're checking that out. I have this, and I, mean, I have... I don't know. It just tastes like bad coffee. It, I, mm. it's, okay. Okay. Why? Is it the best? Are you giving me the best? Uh, no, no. Oh, okay. uh, I'm right. just... Is this deep and rich? It is actually not deep and rich, oh, okay. believe it or not. Deep rich, I should say. Uh, oh, Diar <laughs> Diario. That was the other one I wanted right. Okay, I have to say, like, the smell initially was, was very... Um, it almost smell bitter before I even taste it. But the taste is fine. And actually, it's not, not bad. Mm -hmm. I didn't necessarily put an even amount <clears throat> of water in each of these, but... All right. <clears throat> so that was number that one. Do, though. If I'm out in the field and if nothing else... Here is number two, which hopefully doesn't taste like number two. Oh. <laughs> right. 
and say Murray's leaving. So this is Aunt Murray, sorry I missed that. Bye Murray, we haven't had uh, Murray, thanks for checking in, I appreciate it. Um, looks like we've got about another half an hour or so left. Week. <clears throat> Week, oh, okay, that was, which you've reviewed this before on the okay. channel uh, when we did a, a commercial MRE. It was Deep and Rich, which you, your comment was, it is neither deep nor rich. And I stand by that comment. <laughs> <laughs> and that was like a couple years ago. All right, we have number three. Oh, and I forget the show. The uh, the whole point of this is it's one of those heat ones. And so you have an M1 tank here and a Russian tank over here. And when you put the hot water in, the Russian tank disappears for a desert shield. And on this side, um, you have Saddam. And I didn't add that much water, but you can you can it shows what happens. It had Saddam on here. And when you put the hot water in, Saddam disappears and you see the oil rig in there. So that's the Desert Storm one. So that's the, the joke about that one. This okay. is number three. All right. Which, for the audience at home, is... Okay. Um, okay. This one? This may be my favorite so far. Okay. Now I take it back. It has a different flavor. Okay, the first one is my favorite. This is number two. Oh, okay. Uh, wow, despite the negative things you said about the first one, it kind of grew on you, didn't it? It, it, it did grow on <clears> me. <throat> I mean, like the, the, yeah, just, I don't know what it smelled like initially bothered me, but number two. I got over it. Smell like number two? No. Gross. All right, and there's number four is the last one. Memory Nation. Which this one, yes, nice from, from Memory Nation also. Could I borrow this on my next hiking trip? Um, sure. Next. Really? I, I don't know. I guess so. It's a nice thing. <laughs> you always borrow some of my uh, enamel cups anyway. It's just surprising. You never let me borrow your stuff. I, I don't. What about my walking, my uh, hiking sticks? That's true. You do let me borrow those. Um, I don't know what to say about this one. I'm curious um, about this. This is the one I'm most curious about. I've never had this myself. It's kind of meh. Um, yeah, it's, it's coffee, sort of, it, I mean, it definitely is, is mm -hmm. one step above deep, rich coffee, I think. It's a little bit more flavorful, but, um. Well, looks like Kaylin is here. Um, uh, I do have to interrupt before we go, get back to that. <clears throat> Uh, my sister asked if this is kind of like the pens and glasses that daddy had. Yes, my father used to sell um, all kinds of novelties and um, funny little things. And one of the, a couple of things he had were these pens. I don't remember the pens exactly because that wasn't something I would go in hot water. But he had glasses where you put, it was either hot or cold, cold I think um, the clear ones you put cold water in. And if they were coffee cups, you put <clears throat> hot water in. And it was uh, scantily clad ladies. And when you put the water in, they clad would disappear and they would <laughs> be very scanty <laughs> and i think the pens were i think the pens were it was i think he turned them upside down or something i can't remember oh, yeah, but yeah, yes yeah, yes yeah. yes very similar to that yeah definitely very similar to that kind of idea mm -hmm. i always love those those um picture color changing or picture changing or disappearing things it's always a cool thing even though i never really did the hot drinks that's that's one of the things i wish i did like hot drinks for so i could make more use of my desert storm cup but anyway number one was taster's choice and it sounds like that was this taster's choice. Really? <clears throat> uh, okay. I don't think that's too too bad of a thing. It's, I think that's part. Of, that's probably the reason why they, for a while, had replaced a lot of the military packaging uh, uh, coffees with the taster's choice because it was it's a brand name, you know. But but unfortunately, they're not in military packaging, so they don't necessarily last as long. Which I want to take a look at this one. This one is an older one. Um, number two is Deep Rich. I don't think you were too impressed with that, <clears throat> which is not too much of a surprise. I mean, it's no. not, not really a, a very special thing or anything. Uh, number three was the genuine U.S. one, the Coffee Instant Type 3 freeze-dried. Oh, okay. And do you seem to think that was okay? Yeah, that was my um, second choice, right? <clears throat> second choice, yeah, I mm -hmm. believe so. And the third one was toilet paper, no. <laughs> the third one was <laughs> the, uh, the Russian one, which I don't know anything about, and I didn't get a chance to uh, Google Translate this beforehand. <clears throat> translations yeah we do have something funny yeah. but that one you weren't crazy about that either right no not uh, really. i don't know if the russians are known for their coffee or not known for the coffee but uh that was fun that was a cool thing um checking out some coffees and and while we're here while i have you here let's um i just want to check out some of these these ones i don't think of usually as bad it's usually the ones that are in these that the uh, taster's choice that always seem to go bad even after like like a year they get that white mold this looks fine uh, the dry mold, you know, but this this one looks fine. I, I probably just wasted a, a 
that package by doing that, but it seems to smell okay. Maybe if coffee can be stale, maybe a little bit stale. But I had a couple that I was a little bit concerned about. These two that are like completely solid. I wanted to take a look at these because I'm obviously not going to use these. This is a deep rich, which we already know is not Mrs. G-Shell's Nine's favorite. And this is what I did not subject her to. Let us see what we have here. Look at this. Uh, <laughs> so that deep rich I gave you kind of looked like this, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. This one, which is a little bit older, apparently, uh, it looks like this. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> it's, it doesn't have the granules at all. It's completely solid. It's like tar. That is funny. It wouldn't be funny if you were in the field looking to have some coffee, but... Yeah, that was like your last... Mm -mm. It's like coffee taffy or something. Actually, I wonder how that would... You know, if you're like on a fire watch in the middle of the night and you pull that out and you eat that like it's gum or taffy or something. Look at that. Very interesting. So that's not great. And then the last one was the Diario, which I think has a, a probably a similar reputation to the Deep Rich. It's I don't know much about Diario. Instant it just says Diario Instant Coffee. There's a day code on of one two one four, so it looks like it's from twenty eleven. I don't remember where this one came from. This was an accessory pack. Yeah, and this is similar. Yeah, this is it's like the other one, but this also has the dry mold on it, or whatever that white stuff is, which makes it look a lot worse than than this one. This one looked bad enough and then that just does not look good at all. And obviously it's it's solid, so it's not something you would want to have. How but, old is that? Um, about nine years old, I believe. So after that, I, I had gotten away from the fact that I had something sweet to eat with this, but you're probably not going to try the Tootsie Roll. And I had actually mentioned on the last live stream, I showed this and was going to try it out, and we didn't. Um, but I will try it out. Don't it still looks, yeah, like, actually, it. It looks a little funny. The other one came out looking absolutely perfect. This one's, it's, it's obviously melted over the years. That's strange, because that first one, it was like, had its, its four segments, and it was like in perfect shape. This one has obviously melted, and but it's still pretty pliable. Still smells exactly like a Tootsie Roll, and yeah, it's still fine. Maybe a little bit harder than the, uh, the first one, but still very much a Tootsie Roll. And they're very much edible. All right, we're at 8.45. And I appreciate everybody showing up. Sorry. Eating something very chewy. <laughs> but it is kind of hard to set one of these up. I went with the 7 o'clock time, partially based on the fact that the, we don't want the girls staying up all night. And... Um, I make my because it worked out pretty good for us. <clears throat> but I realize there's people, there are people from all over the world watching. I'm not sure what time it would be in Spain. That's six hours ahead, is it? Mm -hmm. So that's really late. I don't know if, I don't know if Alfredo is still watching. Mm -hmm. I would assume he's not. Yeah. But I really appreciate him ch chiming in or coming in. Magnus. Um, Magnus and maybe you've got Canada, uh, British Columbia. Magnus Canada. was here at the beginning. I'm, I don't want to say hoping, but I'm kind of guessing he's not now because it's, I think it was around midnight when this mm -hmm. was starting over there, so it's going to be pretty late. I don't know if this one's Vancouver. Late. Yeah. Um, and there was another country. What was the other one? Uh, I remember last time we had um, we had uh, Blind Fox from uh, South Africa. Like they, we have these neighbors that it sounds like they're throwing a, a bowling ball around. I don't know if you can hear it. A couple times a day, it's like bonk, 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 bonk. bonk, bonk. First, I thought they were doing some kind of work, but it doesn't sound like work. It sounds like a play, but I don't know. I have no idea. But anyway, that was cool. And the uh, rotating out the 20 year old Tootsie Roll, that's fine. I mean, I may be the one that finishes these since the girls just get that huge bag of treats, which they've already, uh, they've already cracked into that. <laughs> so 
Hopefully they won't be eating 145 pieces tonight, but that should be a good treat for them. And we got quite a bit of mess here. I was thinking of doing <clears throat> maybe one more thing. It may be too, too involved, though. Um, so some of the things I was thinking of doing was, uh, oh, shoot, there was that. Anyway, well, like, let's show you some of the things I was going to do, and I'll they, do they, could, like they could be uh, for, for the next time or something. Um, I have these. these actually came from uh, CampingSurvival.com. It's another, another good site for these days. Uh, we have this chipped beef gravy and this homestyle sausage gravy. Oh, you know what? We do have to do this one at least. Yes. We're gonna we're gonna heat this up. This is gonna be the, we're gonna go we're gonna lead out. We're gonna end out with this one. Uh, this is uh, something I had a bit of an obsession for a couple years ago with um, sausage gravy. It's a long story. It's we're quarter of nine. I want to end around nine, so I'm not gonna have time for the whole story now. But I would like to do a video on um, my short-lived obsession with sausage gravy. Um, it's kind of yeah. It's a long story, but I thought it was kind of interesting. And it has it started with the MRE um, pork sausage and cream gravy uh, entree, which was only around for, I believe it was four years. It was three or four years. I'm pretty sure it was four. And it was a really, to me, it was an odd choice. I like the stuff, but it's an odd choice for an MRE entree because unless you have it really hot, it's really gloopy and gelatinous and, and kind of gross. And if you're not into it in the first place or if you've never seen it before... I remember Kiwi Dude did a review of it, and I don't think he'd ever seen the stuff before. And I can't remember what he thought of it. I mean, he didn't he didn't really like totally bash it, but um, somebody in, in Kiwi Dude's from New Zealand, as most people would, would know. So that's going to be kind of a strange thing to uh, to show up. But um, we also have the MRE Tabasco sauce bottles, which everyone's familiar with, and also from um, CampingSurvival.com came this gigantic. It's actually just like regular, but compared to these, this gigantic Tabasco bottle, which, um, I mean, these things, we've seen these 20 years old or, or more. This is, this has a day code on of 8234, which I'm going to guess is from 2008. And it looks a little bit dark, but I'm sure it's completely fine. So this one, it, uh, best by a year ago, but that's, you know, that's a safe date. I'm sure it's fine. So this is, even I just said that, this is kind of a present for Mrs. G because, I don't do the spicy stuff, and she does, but I just kind of wanted this little comparison, the little baby one, and I see, hey, Valo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the little one loves uh, miniature oh, things, and she actually has a few of these empty bottles, um, but uh, I don't know. I was going to do something with these tonight, but I wanted to at least show that, um, and we're going to be trying the sausage gravy... I was going to originally do the chip beef gravy because I was saving the sausage gravy for a special video, uh, which is going to be all about sausage gravy. One more thing. This is uh, this would be a great way to end it, actually. So how do you want to do this? I think we heat up. Oh, um, that's not heating up the biscuit, but I guess it doesn't need to be. No. Maybe cut it in half. Mm -hmm. um, and over the whole thing? I think so, although it does fit nice on that, doesn't it? Yeah. You can just, you can just put it on that, I guess. So yesterday, we're, you know, we're all stuck at home and we're doing things and if we're lucky enough to have food in the house, we're, we're using food. And um, we had some heavy cream from a cooking, cooking project over the weekend that was about to go bad. So Mrs. G and the, um, the elder daughter made um, biscuits, which is really kind of cool. And I'd already been thinking about this anyway, and I still had the, the covers gone because... This one has a Best Buy of, I think it was August of 2020. So this is actually still within date. This one, you don't usually think of canned stuff going really bad. And I'm guessing this probably didn't go bad, but I might have been the only one to try this one if we got around to this. This actually has a best date of June of 20, 2018, <clears throat> which is uh, almost two years out of date. I don't know when this was produced, but I've had it for, for a couple of years. <clears throat> like I said, these things came from uh, campingsurvival.com. Uh, there's some other stuff too, but... Uh, one of the places I kind of want to give a shout, a shout, a shout out for, I don't know if um, Foreign MRE showed up in the chat, I haven't seen them, or Nina, but um, foreignmre.com, another great another great site, and um, also mremountain.com, I was kind of like throwing out some names, oh that was fast, mm -hmm. so thank you, You're so this is a little combination of shelf stable and homemade, because we have the shelf stable sausage gravy with a homemade biscuit 
And uh, it's something that I've really kind of been into lately is the uh, sausage gravy. Just because it's just such a, just such a hearty kind of southern fare, you know. Um, I have this and this, but I uh, kind of wanted to... Where did I put all the spoons? Did you? <laughs> In the we had like five spoons going. Yeah. No, you want fine. another one? Oh, I see the Just because it is like a um, a food review on a ration review channel, I have to go with the MRE spoon, even though we have a fork and knife, which would probably be better for it. But let's actually let's try the gravy first. So sausage gravy is definitely it's a, a southern specialty, and it's this, this uh, I guess it would be like a flour based uh, gravy. Um, mm -hmm. with sausage in it. <clears throat> it doesn't taste like the, the greatest of sausages, but but you, you pour that over a biscuit, and whew, it's good stuff. So I was kind of thinking, of, I was going to do this, and I was also going to do the chip beef on toast, which is a really another famous uh, southern and military uh, dish called uh, something on a shingle which I'm just trying to keep it family friendly, so I think you, you know what I'm saying. And uh, two hours goes by really fast when you're having fun. <clears throat> so we would have done that too. That would have been another self-stable food on real food because it would be on a, a piece of toast. I was thinking of doing it on wheat snack bread, but I was like, nah, nah, you got to do it on toast. Oh, my God. I just hmm, this is good. Put on my own sweater. This is a great way for me to end it. That's right, Linda. SOS, exactly. <laughs> Jesse! Yeah, Jesse coming in. Oh, thank you, Jesse. I, um, have you been around all night or you just, you just show up? woke up. Oh, sorry, so late. Awesome. I'm glad you were able to make it. Hello, everyone. Sorry, so late. Oh, I had a migraine. Sorry about that. Took that an apple sucks. back. Took a ride to Bourbon Street. Happy Friday. I just saw Jesse. I didn't know this. I'm sorry that I never looked back in your videos as far that you, um, you caught a pass from Drew Brees. That that was really really cool. <laughs> or I saw what? the title and I was like, Nah, that didn't happen. And um, that was cool. I uh, I'd like to hear more about that. Um, I'm a, uh, one second, please. <clears throat> so what'd you think of the biscuit? The biscuit. Well, I already knew the biscuit was good. The biscuit well, was yeah, the, the biscuit's pretty good. It was made by. Mrs. G shows nine and the little mm -hmm. one, uh, but I wanted to mention to uh, to Jesse that uh, I am a Patriots fan, but I also appreciate great oh, players. And Drew Brees is obviously a great player, and Patriots no longer have their great player. Uh, All right, I'm gonna try this. <laughs> but I had mentioned that obsession with the sausage gravy, and one of the things I wanted to do was make a video with all different kinds of sausage and gravy products. Oh my God. And one of them was this these Lay's potato chips. I don't remember. If, I don't know if you remember a couple years ago. Actually, it has right now a 2015 winner, which kind of does date it. It's Southern Biscuits and Gravy Flavored Potato Chips. A Best Buy on it of October 24th, which was not last October 24th. It was at least from 2018, if not 2017. <laughs> I, I actually don't remember. <laughs> Somehow I managed to keep these in somewhat okay shape. And so I think we're going we're gonna to end this video. You just tried some, right? Yes. <coughs> what did you think? Okay. Like, why would you ruin a good biscuit when that? Okay, yeah, it's, it's fair enough. No, no, no. I mean, it's... Um, I mean, biscuit. most of the most of my okay. sauces, gravy, and biscuits I've had has been in hotels. And it, that generally so fancy. that generally isn't the best. You know, it's not like some homemade thing or whatever, but... No, and you know, like, it's along the stuff lines is not that. my... Mm. That's, that I try to stay away from it. Anyway. It's definitely along the lines of that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's more of a breakfast thing, but this is a cool way to end with a, a fun treat. And I do need to get to um, <clears throat> some more videos on the MRE version, and possibly some other ones, uh, other videos featuring sausage gravy. You okay? Including the Southern Biscuits and Gravy, which, because we're low on chips, I'm just going to go ahead and do it now. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, like I said, I don't remember the year that I bought this, which sounds kind of scary, but it does say it's from the, it's the 2015 winner. I think it's probably was from 20, that could have been 2016, come in that long ago. But anyway, I'm going to yeah. try these, and if they're not completely stale. Maybe some other people would like to try them too in the family. Oh Nobody has to. Okay, the, the one thing I have to say is that I'm just glad our, mm. our master closet is being cleaned out and for this I'm thankful, but really? If these have a crunch to them, I think I'm gonna be happy with them. Mm-hmm, not the crispest, crispest of crunches, 
but it's still crunchy. That's an interesting flavor. Hmm. I don't know if that's a flavor that's supposed to have. <laughs> <laughs> I am not trying that. Mm. No I way. was going to say you have to, but oh my gosh. maybe not. Yeah, that's a shame. But um, a little bit of that sausage biscuit flavor. It's kind of it's kind of hard to capture that in a chip. We recently had the um, Lay's um, fried green tomato chips, and I really like those. Oh my god, those were so those were really good. good. Those surprised me. I actually, yeah. You want to do this too? I don't think we'll have time. Okay. Um, All right. I um. I thought it was going to be, um, I didn't know what to expect from it, and I don't think it exactly it tasted like fried green tomatoes, which I've never had, but it did taste good. It was. It had like a mayo flavor and a spiciness, right? The fried green tomatoes mm. one. Yeah, that was tasty. It tasted mayo for some reason, and um, it was a little spicy unexpected, but uh, we ate that whole bag. No problem. It was, really, it was really pretty good. And that's after a Facebook friend, who I don't know if he's watching tonight, had done a video review on Facebook of it and said it was, it was basically disgusting and, and hated it. I was like, hmm, I gotta try that. <laughs> I didn't think it was as bad. So. Your brother-in-law said, put Tabasco on those chips. You know what, Tabasco also might, would probably help this for you. But Fine. anyway, do you want to do that? Mm, I, guess, I don't know. No, no. Anyway, this, is, this is a little present for you. That's for me? Mm -hmm. Aw, that's so sweet. I don't do this spicy stuff. Oh, thank you, honey. All right. Um, yeah, I think we're going to wrap things up. Uh, thank you, everybody, for, for being here. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that everybody. I want to do, and maybe if we do another stream, I'll get, a, get to this, but it does, it's going to take a little bit of time. I wanted to make an old favorite using shelf-stable materials. We have this uh, Russian... Oh, can you pull up that picture? This pictures. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm sure anybody who's used Google Translate has really gotten a kick out of some of the translations. This is a Russian component, and what it is is it's basically um, salted bacon, or just bacon in general. But when I was um, doing the Google Translate to figure out exactly what it was, it came up with some really interesting things. It's like um, instead of this, it was came up as lard salted. This is the the realistic one, bacon salted, <clears throat> canned. Uh, let me see. And then I sent some more. Oh, shoot. I thought I yeah, said... Yeah. Uh, yeah. You did, but... Okay. Well... Oh. You did. Can you, can you find it? Cause yes. It... All right. Sorry. Um, because a couple of them were, a couple of them were really funny. There was, um, what was it, Lini? This was, it was, um, <laughs> anyway, the, oh, the ingredients gosh. were spit. Oh shoot! What was the other one? Spit, spit, spit salt, salt, food, food. food. <laughs> it was the it had four ingredients: spit, salt, food, and mm -hmm. food. And I think one of them I saw it actually said dog food, but the um, spit like, is you know, tried. The spit is tried. Let's see. Yep. Yep. Wait, can I use this knife to cut the watermelon? Yeah. The spit is tried, canned. canned yeah. And let's see. You can hear. See here. Spit, salt, food, food. So. It's good Can't stuff. forget about the food. Yeah, yeah but the most important thing is the spit. Anyway, so this is bacon. So what I wanted to do was um, make an old favorite of mine from it, being as a kid. Um, I was going to use wheat snack bread. And I, and I was having the hardest time finding any wheat snack bread in my house, but um, did find this, and it was a twin pack. So I didn't. I was going to slice it down the middle, but I didn't have to. Twin pack of, of uh, wheat snack bread <clears throat> and some peanut butter and some bacon. And I was going to make a peanut butter and bacon sandwich. I don't know if that sounds good or bad to people, but it was going to be something interesting to try out, and maybe that'll be something for the next live stream, because I, I was able to find out that um, this date, which I asked on the last live stream, if anyone knew if this was a Best Buy or a Born On date, it actually was the production date of uh, either, I think it was January 10th, 2018, so it's only a little over two years old, so even though it's not a U.S. ration, which you would feel uh, confident about being five years old, I'm not too concerned about it being salted bacon or this spit is tried. <laughs> so, uh, I guess we're leaving you with an interesting interesting little view here. But thank you so much for joining us. Oops. Thank you so much for throwing <laughs> Christ Krispy treats all over the place. Hi. Uh, thank you for joining us. I hope this was as fun for you as it was for us. Um, 
I almost feel bad I didn't drink more <laughs> this time. I was going to make some make some more mixed drinks using um, beverage-based powders because uh, I was able to find a little bit of rum. So I was going to do the uh, the uh, tropical punch with rum. I was going to do like orange beverage with vodka, you know, stuff like that. But who knows what would happen at that point. Uh, Israel, Yossi, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Wow. So we almost need to uh, spit spot. Yeah, I remember spit spot. Um we almost need to have a board that shows all the different countries represented. You know, obviously the U.S., Canada, and all these countries from, from everybody around. I don't know if Yossi just uh, recently came in, but um, I'm sorry we're about to about to uh, cut out. And uh, Linda's saying bye from Connecticut. Uh, thank you for joining us. Um, I was in the middle of saying something, and I forgot what it was, but uh, maybe this will be something for another live stream. Uh, but thank you, everybody. I hope everyone's doing okay. I hope everyone's doing the best they can. Anybody who has to be out working, I hope you're staying safe. Um, I don't know if anybody is sick out there, but, uh, if you are, if you, if you have friends or loved ones that are sick, um, you know, we're, we're thinking of you, we're thinking of everybody that's going through all this, and I hope more people are in our position where we're just, um, sort of inconvenienced, you know, it's, I mean, we really don't have much to complain about. Um, but whatever your situation is, thank you for, for joining us. Uh, we're down to 41 people, and obviously we're wrapping things up. Magnus is still here. I appreciate it. What time is it over there, Magnus? It's got to be, is it like two in the morning? I'm not, I'm not exactly sure, but but I appreciate that. I appreciate the people who are in different time zones. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. even the West Coast is earlier and it may be inconvenient to show up at like four Sharon in the afternoon. She's wearing masks and gloves and they're taking temperatures too. Well, thank, you, thank you for mentioning that, Sharon. I know you work in places where you're, um, you know, you're still at work and that's good. I'm glad to hear that uh, they're taking the steps. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, Three in the morning. Three. I was thinking two. It's even worse. Three. So thank you, Mattis. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. I hope it was worth staying up for. Thank you, everybody, just for being here. Uh, oh, Blind Fox was here. So we had South Africa represented, too. Um, and I'm probably missing a couple countries. I'm, sh I'm sorry if I, I missed that in the chats. But uh, thank you to everybody from the Rational Review community for being here. Thank you to members of my family. Thank you for friends, friends of me, friends of Mrs. G, and friends of the girls. That we're here uh really appreciate it this has been a lot of fun um maybe we'll do it again i don't know we'll we'll see what do you think um it's one day at a time you know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get through today and hopefully we all wake up tomorrow and yeah no it's been really fun i enjoy it 4 a.m in israel and 503 for daniel i don't know where daniel's writing from mm. but um that sorry but thank you daniel thank you dossie thank you everybody thank you jesse i'm glad you were able to show up and be here for part of it um i guess that's really all there is to say everybody uh keep rotating the stock uh keep safe keep sane um we didn't see we didn't see magnum i don't think i was hoping magnum would be able to make it i think um, he was on for a okay bit. Yeah. all right uh, magnum if you were there if you are here i'm sorry i didn't uh didn't get to say hi but i did want to give you a shout out too um I know things have been kind of tough for you and tough for a lot of people. So as I guess all I can say is I really appreciate people being here for this. This was, it was great for us. It was fun. Uh, we, had a, we had a great time. And I have my sisters and my brother-in-law and my, my mom saying bye and really appreciate that. Why am I flash type? There's <laughs> um, so much more to say and we'll have to do it on the next one. Uh, good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Be well. Thank you. Let's see if I can figure out how to shut this off. Oh, boy.